of land of uh, Red Lark, with the uh, dealing with the trouble of what seems to be a necromancer in the midst of the cave. You had gotten your way in and fought some zombies and skeletons on the way in, and got bruised up a little bit, but you guys managed to punch your way through. And so you are now left in the. Uh, in the necromancer's workshop, as you can see, uh, the tables right behind here have multiple uh, bodies on them that seem to be embalmed in some way, shape, or form. Khan uh, can you just look at his comrades and just throw his arms in the air and say, What the hell were we just fighting? Just looking around to his uh, teammates. What did we fight? I don't remember what we were fighting. Uh, you guys fought a, uh, a couple of zombies and skeletons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I believe they were uh, reanimated corpses. Corpses? Kane just looked bewildered at Tin Can. What do you mean, raised corpses? They're dead. Dead stays well, ground. Well, through magic, all things are possible. Now they're dead, dead. Kane just walks out yes. the door, nearest corpse just stomping the head in, just to make sure it doesn't rise again. Yeah, you just walk over and with your boot, because with one, with one solid stomp, you just crush the head in, with the feeling of a sickening splat and a crunching of the skull. Can I My dog is barking back then. Can I inspect the table that's next to me? Uh, this one right yeah. here. No, the other one. All right. Yep. Uh, on it, it seems to be the uh, the body of a you know, decently decayed um, half orc man. Uh, I'm muscular sorry, no. Figure. Hey, man. The up there. Up where? Um, next to a zombies. There's a oh, table or something like, like that. An altar? Is that where you? Uh, right here or here? Um, oh, Abo? Um, uh, where your uh, like uh, click and like hold down where you're uh, where you're referring to. This. Right here. Yes. Um. Yeah, that seems to be. You can see that it is a uh, a longer table with multiple different uh embalming tools, all stained with different types of gore and viscous. Um, certain, uh, you can see, like, jars that have some, a couple of stray eyes and lungs and different grotesque body parts just sitting there, almost like a collection of them. Um, I'd like to to pick up the tools and put them in, a, in my backpack Yep, to they're, keep the metal. They're in decent condition, they're just, like, covered in dried blood and gore. I'm gonna melt them anyways. Later. <laughs> any right. other, any other, me any other metal weapons I can, I can grab. Maybe um, held by the skeletons or zombies. Oh right. Uh, the skeletons they each had a short sword, and there were three of them, so there are three short swords. I grab. I. Anyone wants? So anyone wants a short sword? I'm asking players. Uh, no yeah, characters. I'm, I'm good. I got my. I got my weapon. Then I'm going to grab. Then I'm going to grab all three short swords. I'm going I mean, to. If you're running out of, sorry, if you're running out of space, I can take some. I don't have space, but I'm going to put them in thing in. Oh, yeah, in no, Bill's I'm, backpack. I'm, I'm basically also a few. <laughs> oh, you're you're a minivan. Okay. Yeah, I have minivan. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a minivan. Yeah. I'm half expecting you to be able to make a cup of coffee on the go. Uh, uh, that then would be I would... a cool feature to add on me, by the way. If you could just, like, give me, like, a coffee that comes out of my arm or something. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, just a thought. Then, I got all three short swords that I'm going to have to... Next to my to my friend Warford, put them in the backpack, and I already have um, from the last from the bandits 
seven scimitars and two sh long swords, right? Correct. I'm going to to grab a scimitar and a long sword. I'm going to grab them by by the point of the edge, by the longest edge, and and drag them ac and drag them across the floor, um, dra dragging the dragging the shield. And I'm going to approach Thor. <clears throat> Hey friend, do you want this? And I'm lifting the scimitar. I'm dragging them like I'm dragging them like a total dingus. I see what you're saying. You're you're holding them like by the blade, kind of. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Holding them <laughs> by the blade, by the by the edge, by the point. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to in, uh, investigate the bodies on the table. I'm like right kind of in the middle, I think. Yeah, uh, then we'll I'm... get to that right after uh, Torn. So, okay. uh, yep. Um. Um. Do you uh, want them? I'm good, old man. I'm good. Then I'm going to approach Kane. Can you. <clears throat> um. Can you give me my axe? Kane just looks at it. Look at it. Look at it. Sorry. Could you repeat that? I was kind of in the middle of stomping these things. Can you give me my axe? <laughs> you want my axe? No, I want my axe. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm good, little fire pal. I'm good, I got my weapons. You just continue to stomp <laughs> the left of the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Stomping every single one. <laughs> Kane just got his ass handed to them. He's making sure they can't do it again. I mean, part of that was... Uh, didn't you get an axe thrown into your back accidentally? I <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. I no, know. you like chugged the axe to the back of your head, dude. I remember I the that we actually established. We got that part removed. Yeah, that's out of... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to lift the the long sword, which I'm still holding by the blade. Can you hold this for me? I'm next to Kane. I'm asking Kane. Kane just looks at it. Sure, I'll I'll hold it for you. He just picks it up with one hand, just right. Put on my back something. That's not too long. <laughs> Can, 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 can you lower it? Can you lower it? I can reach it. <laughs> Kane just lower. Do, do, Kane just do as he says. <laughs> I'm going to put on my glove. I'm going to turn a knob, uh, a knob on the back of the hand a couple times, and put uh, some kind of gel, jelly on the, on the blade, which dries really quick, and now the blade. Is um, is glowing in a five foot radius bright light and dim light in a ten foot radius, which is a thing that artificers can do. That's uh, the magical tinkering, right? Yes. Yep. Oh, so you basically like what is it like a permanent light on it? Yes. I can only I can only have three effect three effects at the same time. Right now I have two. Okay, oh, just look at Kane just looks at his new bright sword. Is like neat. Thank you. Only the blade is glowing, not the hilt, not nor the guard. Oh, fair enough. Kane just takes a little swings left and right, just to get the feel of the balance with these new glowy things on. Seems great. I'm going to, I'm going to take my axe now. <laughs> yes. No, I meant I'm going to take it. I, I'm going to snatch it from Kane. Uh, roll me a. Uh, hmm, roll me a sleight of hand check, and uh, Kane roll perception. Dice gods yeah. don't fail me now. <laughs> Just no! <laughs> I got a turn, anyways. 
you you swing your sword around a bit, like saying, "Hey, this is pretty cool. It glows now." And uh, once you get done swinging it around, you notice that, that you feel a little bit, you know, like a, a little weight taken off of you. And you see, uh, you just see Devlo a couple uh, couple meters away from you, just sitting there chuckling and with your axe. Shay just looks <laughs> at him and just, you know what? Let him have his fun. Whatever he's doing. <laughs> no, I'm not dealing with Tin Cat this time. Nope. <laughs> um, Gain is at full HP, right? We did okay. take a short rest. Alright. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm going to. Ca I, wa I want to cast Detect Magic. I don't know if I should or play, it, or play the casting or not. Right. Or um, are, you going to, uh, are you going to cast it with a spell slot? Or with no. A, uh, yeah, ritual. Yes. Alright. So, um, that's casting 10 minutes. The, uh, casting it with the ritual, um, it takes a good 10 minutes, but once you finish it, uh, and nothing in particular, uh, glows except for, uh, you can see something that's glowing right in this direction. In fact, two, uh, two small, um, two small, like, blurbs of, uh, light that signal magic in the area. I'm going to and I start walking. Yep. Walking away. I'm not even checking if someone's following me. Follow, so follows I, me. I, as Devlo starts walking away, I kind of like grab him by the scruff, but I'm like not really like looking at him. So he's kind of just like trying to walk, but like isn't walking. And I'm, I'm like <laughs> intently looking at this body. I want to investigate the bodies on the. Yep. All right. I was going to get to you after this. All right. So, uh, all three of these bodies. Um, I'm standing at the middle one, I guess, right now. But, but <laughs> I, I want to check them all out ultimately. Alright, uh, make me, uh, three separate investigation checks. To be clear, I'm not touching the floor, but I'm still walking. Can Kane assist no, him in this investigation? Yes, you would have advantage. Right, cool. so that's d20. So he, I rolled one, uh, 16, plus my proficiency, that's two. That is... Oh, I'm very, I'm, I'm really glad you helped me, but. <laughs> is that a perception, or? Investigation and it's uh if you are helping it's giving um it's giving uh it's giving, it's giving Bill advantage. Yeah, it's so advantage. Uh, I'm really glad I get to roll again. That's amazing. <laughs> right, that's gonna be a sixteen from me. That's, that's not much better. <laughs> oh well, I got a five with advantage. A five I their bodies and they're certainly dead. Right, so many... I you can tell I... they're uh for that's just the first one. For the one in the middle, you can tell that it is a uh, it's a human woman. That's that's it. I I pull my arm around like like right in front of me, and I'm still holding Devlo, and I'm just like, Master Devlo, <laughs> uh, please investigate these bodies. Well, I roll a sixteen. What do I see? Uh, are you investigating the same one? Yeah. Uh, investigating that same body, you can see that it was uh, a human woman, probably maybe. 28, 9 years of age. Um, again, fairly young commoner with uh, common clothes, and it's pretty much it. Nothing too remarkable as far as uh, details. Can I try to see a little closer why she was in the local area where I was from since was she from my city? Can I see if I recognize her or if. Has... You do not recognize her. Alright. Well, I say to the group, or Kane says to the group, it's certainly a woman. Um, I can't recognize her. I don't know if she's from town or how long she's been dead. But this, this isn't right, guys. This isn't right. I agree. <coughs> Sorry. You Cat okay? Can't have, have my bro. Have you caught something from the uh, dead bodies? <laughs> Kane just finally just starts to realize how bad they smelled. Yeah, it, it it takes a bit of getting used to be around them that close. And while they're not, they're going through the like mid to late stages of putrefaction. It's it's nothing pleasant. You you see like Tin Can like glitch a little bit, and then he just like turns to you guys. He's like, <laughs> "It's real good. I don't have a nose right now." <laughs> and then he like <laughs> spazzes out again. And he's like, "Did I did I say something?" Cue the cat's phrase. 
Shot at tin can. Alright. I am still like walking. Oh, yeah. Okay. Going I don't reach the, uh, the floor, but I think it's hilarious. I'm still walking. Yep, right to uh, get up to right here, you would have to go up this uh, this staircase that starts right here, and it uh, it goes for about uh, thirty feet with a stone staircase that goes up and into uh, this room right here. Are you moving into there? Kane starts moving towards the stairs slowly, just trying to right people. I think we should head up there. Who's going with me? I think two men. Uh, Deblo already went ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. I, okay. I didn't. I um, think uh, Bill is is holding me away of the right. floor. I, I don't reach the floor. I'm right, still walking, right. but I do yeah, not yeah. reach the floor. Um, <laughs> the, uh, a a cartoon kind of thing. Because I'm pretty sure you have a higher intelligence than I I mean, I mean, sure, I can check them, but I... I can check the bodies if needed. Do I? I think we only checked out one of the bodies. I don't know if there's anything to them, but I don't know. There's three bodies and I don't know. Uh, I'll tell bodies you this. There's no, they don't have anything on them besides, you know, just ragged clothes. Okay. Bro, can I take the ragged clothes, please? <laughs> <laughs> Does one of the summons they're, still have a head? covered in, like, goo and, like, death. No, yeah. more... Bro, alright. The straight designer, alright? Can I get some clothes? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, the uh, the half orb right here does have a Gucci belt that you can see. Bro! Bro, big brain, let me get that shit, please! <laughs> nah. Question, uh, question, question. Yeah, what's up? Does one of the zombies still have a head left? Uh, oh no, you cleanly stomped through every single head. There All were, right. uh, there were two zombies and you stomped both of their heads. Alright, I'm... Four this is gonna sound. God. <laughs> this is gonna sound very strange, but I do have a plan with this. I'm. I want Kane to attempt to cut one of the hands off, just like a souvenir. There's a point to this. Uh, one of the zombies. Yes, I want to have a hand cut so I can use it for later. Yeah, this would have been. People. This would have been easier with your axe, but Diablo has that now. So <laughs> you, the long sword will suffice, and you uh. You take that, rear it back, and just <laughs> manage to cleanly slice the hand right off. The flesh and bone is decayed so that it offers very little resistance. I just to be I find took some of the zombies' clothes and rubbed the hand in and put it in my backpack. Hey, 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 hey! That's mine! <laughs> you'll get it back, you'll get it back. Don't worry. Just to be clear, that axe was mine in the first place. It was his I gave it to him. <laughs> yes, but Kane will still argue that it was apparently his axe. <laughs> <laughs> Kane just moves towards the staircase, making ready for. I, I still haven't I still haven't let go of Devlo, but we're walking towards the. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm like walking towards the staircase. And, like, I'm and, I, I, and I am walking as well. <laughs> yeah, he's like walking, and like I've still got him. Like I'm like playing a game with him. Like I've still got him, like hovering off the ground. But he, he we're moving, so he's like cool. Like he's like, all right, yeah, we're going. <laughs> like, he's... Okay, Finally, just... this is a long cave. <laughs> so <laughs> been walking like, for ten minutes. Got to the stairs. Going up here. Um. You can see uh, a very small room with uh, you can see that in the middle of the uh, of this very small circular room there are two uh, wooden chests you can see. As far as that, there aren't really any details too significant of the room. It's uh, very the, uh, the stone floor is very smooth. The walls are. Uh, can I? I'm like I. Can I check? I'm Sorry, I'm really please. afraid of chests. So, uh, are any of, are either of them breathing? I'd like to do it. Oh. Uh, if you want to see if any of them are breathing, make it a. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, figure. I'm going to assist him. Uh, All right, so you have advantage. So then, Bill, right. you roll with advantage. Uh, let's see. That's a fourteen. Oh, wait, perception, perception, you said, right? Yeah, perception. That is a 13, I don't have a bonus. Fine. Uh, looking, squinting your eyes and looking at this chest, you can tell it's a normal chest. It is, 
it's genuine wood. The uh, it seems like it was at one point locked, but neither of them are anymore. So. Yeah. Right, oh, I, 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 put down, I put down Deblo, and I'm like, you can open the chest, Master Deblo. Okay, can I check for Kay traps? Just shout, stop, 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 stop. I'm still checking for traps, though. Kane wants to go behind the chest and erase his long sword just in case anything pops out. <laughs> Alright, uh, make, if you're going to check for traps, uh, double make an investigation check. Sure. Um, I have Thieves tools, if that helps. Um, and 14, investigation, are, right? Yep, uh, investigation, 14 plus whatever your modifier is. Yes, I... Plus 4, 18. With an 18, yeah, you see that there is, uh, there's, there's no traps on these. They are, without a doubt, normal chests. They are not are they locked, unlocked? right? Hmm? Are they unlocked? You said? Yes, they are both unlocked. I'm going to, ch to push it open with both my hands. I don't know if I can open them, yeah. that's <laughs> something the else. are about maybe a foot and a half tall. And, uh, if, you know, to all of you, you would have to, like, bend down to get it, but, Deblo, you're able to, uh, with your size, you're able to take the lid with both hands and just, like, thrust it open. Uh, the, uh, assuming you're going for the one closer in first, is a, uh, is a peculiar-looking, uh, what looks like this decanter, a vase. It's, uh... It has these uh, metal designs on it of what seems to be like gushing tides, and inside of it you can see a uh, an amount of water that's uh, corked with this uh, very special looking uh, blue cork. It's magic. Um, do I know if it's magic? Because I still have yes. detect magic. Yes, it is magic. And uh, you can tell with it, it is uh, evocation magic. Okay, I'm going to pick it up, put it in the middle of the floor, and check the, the next chest for traps. Yep, uh, Kane goes to the other a, chest, again taking his stance. Yeah. Send a reference for what it looks like, and the chapel. Can you repeat what you said, Owen? Um, after uh, I said yeah. I want to check for traps? Uh, yep. So, uh, do you, uh... They are both, uh, they're both not trapped. Oh, I thought I checked only one. Then I'm going to open the other one. Yep. Opening the other one, you can see what looks like a very, uh, very peculiar necklace. Give me just a moment. It, uh, it has this, uh, gold design to it with these, uh, sort of these red tatters on the end of it. And it safely, uh, fits around, um, what would be, uh, somebody about, like, a, you know, cane or, uh, uh, a normal human size. Darn. Kane <laughs> looks at this necklace and just looks at the cobalt. Would this you mind magic? lending me that? Oh yeah, it is, uh, it is magic and the, uh, um, the magic that you can read off of it is transmutation. Yes, I mind. Stop. I grab it, I'll put it right next to the decanter. I'm going to sit cross legged next to it, and I'm going to cast Identify. I'm going to turn oh, many, many, time, many, many times the knob on the back of my of, my, of the hand of the glove, and a dust is going is going to come out of the out of the glove, and I'm going to tell by the shapes what the, those things are. I'm going to ca ritual cast Identify twice. Once on each item. All right. So, uh, as you take a couple minutes to identify both of these, the effects of them become clear to you after a while. The one that you got more recently is a necklace of adaptation. It is an uncommon item. It requires attunement. While you are wearing this necklace, you can breathe normally in any environment, and you have advantage on saving throws made against harmful gases and vapors, such as cloud kill and stinking cloud effects, inhaled poisons, and the breath weapons of some dragons. That is a really great necklace. <laughs> it is. Give me one moment. As far as the other one, um, uh, this one is a bit longer for me to read, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy the text and send it in the Discord. Sure. But it is a it is a decanter of endless water. The 
This um, uh, stopper flask sloshes when shaken, as if it contains water. It weighs two pounds, and you can use an action to remove the stop to speak one of three command words, whereupon an amount of fresh water or salt water of your choice pours out of the flask. The water stops pouring out at the start of your next turn. I love it. It's mine. That's that's awesome. Wait, I it want it. Okay, guys, only interested in the necklace. Oh, nature, Maybe man. none of you knows what those things are, though. That's true, he has not told us what they are. He has not, yeah. Wait, Kay is I, not interested like, in because of the magic. He wants the Does necklace Does it take because... intelligence or wisdom to figure out what the items are? Do I even breathe? I don't think I need the... <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, you're a warforged, so you do not need to breathe. So, only Cain can use the necklace. Ah, uh, it would fall off of, off of me and Don can't use it. Right? Well, you're not entirely sure. You're gonna think boy neck. It's a ma it, it well it's magic, so maybe when you attune it it fits to you. you know right? I forgot that's a thing but um, uh yeah, you I... do have to attune to it. And you are an artificer, uh, you would know that most magic items like that, when you attune to them, it, uh sh or shrink or grow to fit their wear. That would be something you would commonly know. Yeah. Um, I wear it as like a bracelet. Maybe it, is, my neck. it is a necklace. I'm going to tell them what the, what the necklace is, and I'm going to hide the the decanter. That, that was it, right? A decanter. To put a a flat. I'm going to hide the flask. All right. Uh, maybe a stealth check, and it will be contested by everybody's passive perceptions. Oh crap. Um. Thirteen plus three, I think. Alright, so if anybody has a passive perception of 16 or higher, they would see the uh, the decanter. If not, then, um, it almost... Mine is 21. It almost, um, your passive perception is 10 plus your perception modifier. I got 13. Mine's only 10. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Yeah, so, uh, what is Kane's uh, perception modifier? Like, the modifier to the skill. Whatever that is, three plus. plus. So, 13. So, so your uh, passive perception would be a 13. So, yeah. Um, it almost seems as uh, Devla did not find anything in this uh, in this second chest. <laughs> Kane just looks at him, but trust him enough. But Kane's only interested in that necklace. Yo, little guy. Can I talk to you for a second? Giving his biggest smile as great as he can. <laughs> Um, I already told everyone what the what the necklace is. Yes, yes. Sure, <laughs> sure. And I'm going to start climbing, Kane. <laughs> Kane just stands still that he knows better. What's gonna happen if he doesn't apply? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like like as he's climbing on top of you, I'm just like hovering up right right in front of you, just like just not doing anything. I'm just like watching you, see what happens. But like if, when you, if you lock eyes with me, like. It's like, it's like an anime, like, I, like you just see shadows behind me and my eyes turn red and I'm just like... <laughs> Don't kill me yet, Tin Tan! Um, Devil is at this point sitting on Kane's shoulder. What do you want? <laughs> that... Go. Kane just tries to be polite and nice and he's every <laughs> single fiber of his body is stretching right now. He's just like... Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. That gold necklace... I've been thinking... I wanted to bring back a souvenir... For... Kayla when we get back. Now, you wouldn't mind... <clears throat> giving me that necklace so I can give it to her, would you? You already took the clothing. Shut. Um, so, sorry. Well. Oh right. Um. Just saying, guns. I think it would be a waste to give it to an NPC, but you can do whatever. Oh, it's. Um, I don't want it. Can I have it? So he's just gonna wear the necklace, and he's gonna realize how beneficial it is to it. Then he's gonna decide <laughs> maybe he's not gonna give it away anyway. <laughs> Ask them. Ask them. I don't want it. Do you guys I... want this necklace? You can just see every single muscle is just stretched <laughs> out now and he has a blood table going up now. 
I, I realize what's happening, and I, well, I, I, I grab Devlo, and I put him onto my shoulder, and I'm like, I, I don't think Hello. I would have made much use of it. I, I don't need to breathe. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm put my, I'm gonna put my finger on my chin and ponder if I really want this, this, this golden necklace or not. I'll give you a free drink if you don't. Not sure that's a, that's a decent price. I, I don't America. think that is a fair barter. That's all I can afford right now. Can I um, can I see what's um, can I try to perceive what's around us to see what's around us? Um, there isn't much in the room other than the uh, other than just those two chests. Um, there is a uh, there is a tunnel right in this area that just leads you back to the uh, the entrance out this way. Ah. Okay. Right now I'm just sitting on. On, uh, on Bill's, on friend, um, which uh, I will refer to Bill as friend. I'm, I'm sitting on friend's shoulder. She was doing that child geek, ch child geek, well, you know. The, well, Kane's just that, like that, that thing in their legs. Well, that, that, that kind of thing. Oh, you're just like kicking your legs off my shoulder like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and Kane is just <laughs> shaking right now. <laughs> I think that is probably a lot to do with why uh, why Tin Can likes Devlo so much. It's because he reminds him of the Feywild. He's just like a little, he's like childishly chaotic. And he's just, he's just like, that reminds me of home a little bit. And Kane is the one paying the price for that. He's gonna see the wrong one. I don't want the necklace. Kane just smiles deeply and bows a little. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um. Wow, he has manners. <laughs> Shut it! Tin Tan! There it just... goes. Um, by the way, Owen, I did not roll um, those two D6 from yesterday, remember? I did not roll them. Should I, do it? Should I do it now? Uh, what, were the, what was the 2d6 for? It was... You spend time working in a job related to your background, oh, start the game with an extra You can go ahead and roll that now, yeah. So, uh, you guys are moving on? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Yeah. I'm moving okay. on. I'm moving on. Alright, so... Uh, the only place left you have to explore the cave is over towards here. Not. It's I'm, I'm walking over there. I want to see what's going on. Yeah, I'll follow. So does right. Kane. As you go over to this area right here, you can uh, you see that the cave goes uh, a bit um, it narrows a bit in this area right here. And as you um, as you walk towards this area, you can see uh, in here. Give me a moment. You can see what looks like a man standing right about here. His uh, his complexion kind of uh, uh, astute, as if he's trying to listen in and peer in. His hair is uh, this dark brown and is very unkempt, while his face is very uh, he has like a five o'clock shadow, like he hasn't shaved in a very very long time. Um, he uh, has these ragged clothes that almost look like they were fine once, but no longer are. And you can see that he, this wild, almost manic look in his eyes as he just leans around this uh, this um, this corner, almost like a, a child trying to spy for their parents, like leaning around it, his head swivels around it, and he just he catches eyes uh, with a uh, a couple of you. And as you make eye contact with him, you can just hear this, ah! and he just just like ah uh, lurches back behind the corner, out of sight. Can Kane so try he, to he dash for him to try to track him? Yeah. As you uh, as you start dashing forward, uh, you can hear him just no 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 sit back sit back sit back just start running forward. Get um, back here! I got questions, and you will find the ghost answer them. 
Hand in hand, that sucker tank, and he is going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> this guy. As you are, uh, as you are running, he is. Uh, you get behind him, and he is going to take out this. Uh, you can see what looks like a jagged piece of wood, and he lurches it at you, and you can hear this. This bolt of fire just leaps out at you. Uh, does a thirteen hit? No, it doesn't. And as he runs back, you can see him just hurl this fireball at you. You can see it coming. You just duck right out the way of it. At this point, I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, okay. I didn't know if this was a bad guy or a good guy. Or... All right, cool. That is a... 15 plus 3. I got 16. That is a 12. That is a 9 for me. Can we take our what? Plus what? Uh, it's plus your dexterity modifier. So yeah, it's a D, it's a D twenty plus your dexterity. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, just I'm going to pull up random numbers between those numbers. Just uh, tell me what it is, so I can uh, so I can get that written down. One moment. All right. And they're already in the chat though. Okay, um, so we'll start out, uh, 25 to 20. 16. <laughs> Alright, uh, so then 20 to 15 with the devil with the 16, okay? Uh, 15 to 10. Uh, yeah. I got nine. Five. Uh, what'd you get, corn? Five. Alright. Okay, Deblo, you're up first. I will, uh, give me a moment. So, uh, you go first, Deblo. <clears throat> Um, I was on French shoulder. I imagine I can't see the guy. Uh, you cannot see him, but you did see him clearly run away, and you did see him fire something out at Kane. Um, getting down from French shoulder is half my move, my movement. Can I keep some of my movement? Is I make make a um, somewhat of a jump and roll when I land? Yeah, I'll say that it just takes normal movement for you. Okay. So it won't take any extra movement to get off his shoulders. So this is where I am, where we are now, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to move here, right. and I'm going to try. Uh, um, hey, <clears throat> hey, wanna be friends? Wanna come? Wanna? Um, um, <laughs> wanna, wanna, wanna be friends? Wanna complain with us? Um, that's it, I just want to convince him you are not enemies or hostile, um, which is a lie, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you going to try to make a, are you trying to make a persuasion check? Yes. Alright, uh, go ahead. Um, a d20? Uh, yep, D20 plus your persuasion on fire. That's a six! You don't want to play anything? I want to play cards! Someone just wants- I just want to play Mahjong and nobody wants- We can play that together! <laughs> well, that's pretty much my turn. I won. <laughs> You're just here, Kane. I want to play Noggle Sandwich, but no one wants to play with me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, is that the end of your turn? Yes. Right, it is his turn now. Um, what what initiative was he? Uh, he got a fifteen. Oh, okay. Uh, he is going to run <laughs> one, two, three. Um, I'll reveal this area, and uh, you can uh, you can see him as he's running. He's uh, he's waving his wand about fantastic motions, and he says, "How about you play with my friends, huh?" 
and you can see rising from the ground, from the stone, bursting forth these bones start to form, form into the, uh, into the light as two skeletons form, uh, from the cavern stone. Kane just screams in frustration. Not this shit again! Uh, they will take the last initiative order. Alright, uh, Tin Can, it's your turn. Uh, Tin Can, uh, says, I, uh, gents, I believe we found our necromancer, and, uh, I think, do I still have a rage? I think I still have a rage. No, you do have one rage left. I mean, he's a magic user, now's the time to use it. Going into a rage, and yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush at that, uh, I guess I'm gonna rush at that first zombie. Skeleton. Skeleton. First skeleton man. And take a reckless attack. Alright. Go ahead. Roll the damage. Alright, that is. Uh. That is an 18. An 18 hits. Is that with your rage damage? Oh wait, hang on, I had one from infused weapon, right? Yes. You had one from infused weapon and uh, two from your rage damage. Oh, and that's uh, hang on. That's 13. All right, 13 points of damage. You run up to this thing and you just take your ass, slash it right across its chest and it tries to raise its sword in defense, but it, you just, murderize this thing, taking its- you see its bones shatter, the ribs all just go flying everywhere, and it is dead, dead, dead. I want to play! <laughs> Can't just have a fucking flashback of PSTD right now. Yeah, and uh, you see that uh, as the uh, as you just take that skeleton and make a fucking ragdoll out of him, you see the necromancer just look back, just that chick chick chick. Trying to just dash away from you. <laughs> um, Kane, it is your turn. Um, he, can I shoot him with a with my bow? Is he in range for that? Um, if you move up, where are you moving to? I just need to wait, figure out where I am because I can't. Uh, you are the white, correct? I'm the white. Yeah. Can I move my white yeah. sprite? Um, you have to go to the corner and move it. You would be able to, if you get right here, you'd be able to hit him with your bow. At the 10 feet or the 13 feet mark? At the 30 feet, that would be your full movement. That's Maybe that's off. That's Deblo. Uh, How do oh, the white the sprite is Deblo. Yes. Oh, okay, so then you're right here. Um, a second. I think that's cool. Yeah, that's Storm. Where's, uh, where's Kane? Because I should no be spring. around where the white sprite is, because I you just dashed forward. Right. Yeah, you did dash forward. Um. Hmm. I think my sprite. I'll just roll again. Probably be like here, no? Yeah, yeah, you would be right about here-ish. Can I so just yeah, draw you? yourself right there. Do you want me to make a sprite for you? Uh, then, give me a second. I'm just gonna make a blue sprite so I can. Uh, hold shift so that it uh, it uh, draws it to the grid. Right. There you it's, go. It's, yeah. That's where I am. Right. Um, and how do I move him? Uh, click on it and, uh, or highlight it and just, uh, use the, uh, arrow keys. If it's not working, I can get it to move for you. Alright, there it is. I should be in range now. now. Uh, yep, you will be able to hit both him and the skeleton. Basically what I'm going to do, I want to be aiming at his kneecaps because I want him to stop running. Alright, um, okay, so then you will be doing non-lethal damage, so, uh, go ahead and make your shot. 13 plus, what would that be, plus with? Uh, plus Thanks. your dex modifier, plus your proficiency bonus. So that's a 3 plus 3, that's 16. 
a 16 to hit. Oh yeah, that hits. You uh, you take your bow and uh, you draw an arrow back and keenly aim right for the uh, back of his knees, and you just uh, you just see the bow just the arrow just boom, fly forward and hit him right in the back of the calf, and he just ah fuck fuck fuck. As he just swears as he fumbles from uh, you hitting him. I just King just screams, stop running or the next arrow will be your throat. Alright, uh, that will reduce his speed. Stop right there, criminal scum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! That was a perfect reference. Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> I fucking love that. Alright, um, uh, next tour, it is your turn. Um, okay. So, uh, Torn's gonna, first he's gonna use all his movement to get up to here. And then can I, uh, can I eat my javelin over the top and hit him? I'm trying to do a um, uh, you would have disadvantage because that is at the long range. However, if you were at the skeleton, it would not. Because the, uh, the javelin's range is 30 feet over 120. You can move to 5 feet, I think. Wait, you were right. You were in this space here, correct? Yeah, I was like right. Uh, that is, one, uh, two, yeah. Three, four, uh, you still have five feet yeah. movement left. Okay. You can, you if can you get that closer. Right, if you moved right here, you would be able to hit him without disadvantage. Okay, I need all the advantage I can get. Mm -hmm. Alright, so make your attack. Oh, I do 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You just take your javelin, just like, spin it around, and just like, heave, ho, oh, and just throw it over, and it hits him right in like the thigh. And he, go ahead and roll your damage. So it's, uh, 2d6. D, 1d6. Uh, you crit, so it's 2d6. Oh, that's right. Actually, uh, here's what I'll do. For you guys, I'll use the maximized crit. Uh, 6 plus 1d6 plus your modifier. So, uh... What is your strength modifier? Um, plus five. Okay, so... Uh, is that your to hit, or your, Wait, uh... Wait, five? Uh, no, your, uh... If your to hit is plus five, then you have 16 strength, so then it's going to be 1d6 plus nine. So go ahead and roll a d6. Just one question, who is he aiming at? Uh, uh the the dude... I'm trying, I'm trying to throw my javelin through his knee. Oh, yeah, that's max damage. You deal, uh, that's 15 points of damage. He's just right. like obliterating his leg. Bro, can I, can I, I wanna, I wanna like pierce it. What leg? Yeah, bro. I wanna, I wanna just throw it up. Oh, yeah. Since that was a crit that did max damage, uh, oh, yeah. You just, um. <laughs> that is not oh, fucking no concha, dog. You just <laughs> spin it around and just heave. Ho! Oh, and it sails through the air and just pierces right into it. Have, and you just hear ah! <laughs> as he just falls to the ground prone. What? He is on the that ground. That was a great prone. throw, Tor. Great shot. Nice, nice job. Nice I will enjoy job. the medieval Olympics. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't see shit. <laughs> All right. So, uh, last in the order is the skeleton. So. Uh, he is going to move up to you, um, uh, Tin Can, and he's going to make an attack against you. He has advantage because you did go with yep. this. Alright. Does a... Uh, does a 16 hit. It just misses. Alright, you see the skeleton running right at you, and even through the, uh, even through the range that you're able to see its strike coming, and you deflect it with your axe. Alright, it is the top of the round. Devlo, it is your turn once again. Alright. Um. Nope. Can I. Can I run, climb Thorn, and jump from his shoulder to Kane's to friend? Uh. Make me an acrobatics check if you're going to do that. And that'll be your full movement. Uh, nine, nine plus, what's your uh, acrobatics? Plus three. Uh, wait, no, acrobatics. Acrobatics is plus three. That's a twelve. Oh, buddy. Come on. With a twelve, you're able to get onto, uh, you're able to get onto Torn's shoulders, but you really don't have the momentum to safely jump across after that. 
So you are on Torn's shoulders. You t Thank you me. can clearly see the um. You can clearly see the uh everything that's going on. Ah, yeah, uh, what, what, what? Oh, hello, friend. It's I'm going. Man. I'm going to shoot it to shoot the skeleton. All right. Um, I have advantage because because of pack tactics, which I forgot last you game. You do. I don't need it. Let's <laughs> go. That's gonna do it. That's uh, one d eight. Really? Oh, let's so that's, go. Um, oh my, okay. Yeah, so plus that's, one because of my infusion. infusion. <laughs> yeah, so that's... Uh, What's happening? You just, oh my God. you just climb up onto his shoulder and um, uh, take in. All you hear is the crossbow and the bowl just pierces right over the, uh, right into the skeleton's head and it takes the head right off of the spine and turns it right to the stone wall right here, and the skeleton just falls limp. That Surrender is... now! <laughs> or, Surrender now, or you will be harmed! <laughs> it's his turn, and as you say that, he just, uh, he just... Uh, <laughs> just like, crying, whimpering, moaning, just crawling, like a head just not even strong enough to stand on his feet, hurt as hell. He just, uh, uh, I give up. Okay, I surrender. I surrender. The tin tin can kind of like Daddy. um is combat over? Um, yeah, combat is over. He does surrender. Let's action. go. Kane would uh, like to I... rush towards him and pin him to the ground and start interrogating uh, him. Uh, hang on, hang on, just kidding. I'm dancing on Torn's shoulder. I'm holding from the horse and dancing on his shoulder. Tin, uh, Tin Cam walks over to the whimpering guy in front of the ground and he just like looks over him and he like, He's... he glitches out of his rage and he just... Come quietly or there will be trouble. He becomes Robocop basically, is what I'm saying. The uh, the necromancer just still lying flat on his stomach, just like holding his hands up weakly. Uh, okay, okay, I promise I'll stop. I, <laughs> I don't want to die. Kane rushes towards the necromancer and start would want to grab his uh, neck collar and just start. Who are you? What do you do? Who the fuck are you? Just ask all the cop questions he wants answers now. <laughs> My name is Oriol, and I was noble and water deep. <laughs> but then my family all died, and I came here and was a necromancer, and nobody loves me even still. <laughs> Kane just keeps show showing him. What the fuck is a necromancer? I play with yeah. dead people. Sick oh, bastard! That sounds far worse than the necromancer. <laughs> right. Before anything else, Kane is starting to tend to his wounds to make sure he doesn't bleed out. Actually, uh, I'm. Do we need well, to take actually, while weapons first. While he's crying and Kane is doing going all bad go, I guess. Does he still have his leg? <laughs> oh yeah, he's. Uh... <laughs> is it still uh... there? <laughs> Is there any le leg left? He, there is, because there's plenty of leg left. However, uh, as you can see, Torn's javelin it has torn straight clean through his uh, his right kneecap. You can clearly oh see that the, that the tip of the javelin extends, like it's sticking out a good inch and a half through his kneecap. He is, oh. His knee is fucking gone. What? Uh, that sounds horrible. Thanks, uh, I'm gonna wiggle, I'm gonna wiggle my javelin around a little bit and pull it out. Can you describe the javelin, to... though? I, I, I want to know if it's going to deal more damage to retrieve, to retrieve it. No, 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 it's not going to, it's not going to take any, uh, it's not going to deal any damage to him pulling it up. He's actually, uh, he actually has uh, a little bit over half a P. Uh, he gave up. <laughs> he just surrendered. What? Well, half, um... As Thorn is retrieving his javelin, I'm going to move a needle in my in my glove. I'm going to poke him in a, in a muscle so that so that so that it hurts, but not too much. 
and I'm going to inject him and cast your wounds because I feel bad. Sorry, yeah. uh, roll, uh, roll D8 plus uh, um, uh, intelligence mod. Uh, I'm doing. I'm injecting him, injecting in the thigh, in the thigh because. Yep. I would feel bad if he loses his life for Yeah, it's not. It's not any danger. Okay, for now that's all. That's uh, how much HP does he recover? Yes, that's all. The it rolled a uh, max again. That's an eight yep. plus four. So twelve. Okay, so he wasn't really in danger of losing a leg. It looked like it hurts. There's a. Uh... Um, there's an arrow in his, uh, in his, uh, uh like his, uh, his calf, um, and, uh, He's his, uh, all messed up. <laughs> he, he, you guys did a number on his legs, you'd be lucky if he'll be able to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> That's what I want to fix, so, I don't want him, um, I don't want to live in that bad. Uh, I'm walking in a fight to fix his leg. leg. Um, we found the necromancer, but, um, Tin Can, um, I'm guessing his wound is like still there, like. But... He, he's still got a decent uh, wound on. He, right, his, so... uh, you heal the one on his left leg. His right knee is still shattered. Okay, yeah. So uh, I, no. I lightly, as lightly as a robot can, put my foot on his leg. No, <laughs> and, not too much for I feel bad. And, and I ask, I ask him, uh, are there any other necromancers in this den? No, <laughs> just me. Cain takes his throat, and I want to intimidate him to telling me the, all the truth. Tell me the truth, you little shit! Roll intimidation with advantage. I'm pretty sure this guy is already intimidated Try. enough. <laughs> with advantage, you said? With advantage. He is, he is uh, going to cry Seven. and shit and piss and maybe calm. He is. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a 19. He's oh gonna, yeah, you know, he's have a come, you know. He's just <laughs> <laughs> what's the. He's going to die, and not because of our weapon. <laughs> going to cry, maybe shit and come. <laughs> As you you grab him by the throat, hold him up, and you see that he he is a mess. He is like he's crying like a little kid would be. He's like no, sniffling. Not... He's snotting. He's like really just like making a mess of himself it's almost pathetic it actually it's not his best pathetic. it's not his best day you know he's it's not, not the best day he's had better days it's, just, <laughs> he, it's kind of pathetic and he says i'm telling the truth i swear i haven't told a lie yet <laughs> every word of it i'm just here by myself so if you're the only necromancer and you have got nothing more info for us then why should i keep you alive because he can be our friend. We can no, play. I, I'll stop, I promise. I'll never practice necromancy again. I I'll swear. Make sure of that. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to. I'm to die. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk in front of Kane and push his knees backwards. I'm going to push him, try to push him away. From his knees, his thighs, something. <laughs> It okay. is very ineffective, unless you... It is. Uh, it is really ineffective. Uh, ineffective. I weigh 20 pounds and I have 10 strength. <laughs> as he, like, as he, he tries to stand up, but he's just like, ow! Oh! Just like groaning in pain from the ja from uh, the javelin. And at this point, Torn just walks over, just grabs the javelin and just yanks it right out of his uh, His oh, knee having just, ow! <laughs> then, uh... I'll, I'll tell you this as a, to, as a good measure to make sure that you guys don't hurt me and I'll never practice necromancy again. Nay, Kane just here. got sick and tired of him just knocking him out cold. Um, before that, can I do an inside check? Wait, he was going to say something actually, I think. He was going to say something. Kane does nothing. <laughs> I swear, back in the other room there's four and you just hit him right across that. <laughs> friend, friend, I slap Bill on the th on the thigh. I guess. Can you carry him? I only if you let me tie his hands. Sure. We can cut off Very his well. hands. Can no, we can't. I, I I I tie his hands uh, behind his back. 
and I throw him over my shoulder. Careful with the knees. Yo, I, I I'm seriously feeling bad for, for these guys. Just throw him over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you just like throw him over your. Like, like, Red, like, like Red Dead Redemption Two style, just like yeah, yeah. Like, you just like, like, just, like a throw him over style. Yeah, just... you just have him over like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Can he just find um, the rock or something he put in his mouth so it's kind of mouth gag him so he doesn't keep wabbering in case he wakes up? <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea because he's a spellcaster, so. Exactly. You know, we've tied his hands uh, and he can't he, speak words. Yep. He can't gesture either. Uh, that, he, there's no need to gag him. And gag him then he... he can't really cast components. anything. Yeah. yeah, he won't be able to use verbal or somatic components. Okay. Uh, uh, then. That's why I wanted to tie him up. I'm like, he cast fireball right out the gate, so that's not good. Like, we gotta, we can't just have him like loose and like with <laughs> us. <laughs> you see, I made the right choice. Kane just kind of snorts. Um, um, I try to, I try to like shake him to wake him up. Uh, you shake him for a bit. It, it takes a couple tries, and you just hear. Oh, was it I, all just a bad dream? I'm no. afraid it was not all just a bad dream. Um, I oh. believe you were about to tell us something. Oh, so that right. we wouldn't kill you? That was... Right. I, when you said a reason to not kill me, I was going to say there are some things that I have that you might be able to use. They're in the other room there. There's a key in my pocket, but... You mean these? I'm going works. to show the plastic. Mm-hmm. It's mine now. They were on the people that I... that I killed. Kane's just so getting more you, and more angry. You, wait, wait a minute. Hang, hang on. You mean to tell me that you... you killed all these people, but you didn't, like, find these dead bodies. You... Because necromancy is not necessarily evil. Death is a part of life, but to kill for your craft is, well, never good. I was lost, adrift in the sea of woes. <laughs> I didn't kill any of them, my minion did. What minions? <laughs> them. He points to the, uh, he points specifically to the, uh, to this skeleton head that was pierced by the crossbow bolt and still hanging on the stone wall at this point. And how high is it high? Is it hanging? Uh, it's, uh, no, it's just like a, it's just like an open skull that, the one that you crit. Oh no, it should be in the, in the floor because my bolts disappear. I'm going to grab it and start making me, <laughs> and using like a moppet. <laughs> <laughs> Master Deblo, please, this is... Uh... Who's Master Deblo? I'm Mr. Skull! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Kane just sighs, and he just turns his attention to the necromancer. Well, I, I, I suppose that Master Deblo is proving m my point. Um, death can be seen in a bright light? I... I'm sorry for the dog barking. <laughs> Kane just snaps his nigga looking at Tin again. You what, mate? You what? <laughs> you fucking what? You what? How the fuck is do you, mate? <laughs> I, I promise I won't ever do it again. I, I, I'm going no, wait, to approach um, the guy. This is out of character. Do Were we like charged with take, bringing him alive? Or like. That was no, we just got a dog. You were charged with. You were charged, the exact words that Kalos has said were to stop him. Whether that meant making him stop practicing necromancy or oh, okay. uh, disposing of him, it was... Okay. so as soon as I realized that he It was end the people, threat. As soon as I realized that he murdered all these people, um, I, I, I look at De Master Deblo and I say, Master Deblo, do you still want to be this man's friend? Kane just shakes his head furiously. I'm not, I'm not Devlo. I'm Skullstam. I'm going to okay. approach, going to approach the guy. Yeah. Mas Master Skullman. <laughs> hmm? So yes. just, just, just let you, just let you know, uh, Toxic. I'm basically asking you whether or not I can murder this guy because I kind of want to kill him. Take <laughs> yeah, a I know, but I, in but... line. I was there first. 
I know, but now I kind of feel bad. And Neville is going to approach the to stand in front of this guy, which I assume is still on friend's shoulder, on Bill's oh, yeah, shoulder. Oh no, he's tied up on my shoulder still. I'm going to use the Muppet and pretend um, the skull as a Muppet and pretend it, he's, the skull is talking. You are gonna wanna apologize to my family. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm saying I'm saying you're going to apologize to their families. Okay. And you'll become a farmer! <laughs> Alright, I'll do that. I, I throw the fu- the things that I've done, I'll... I throw the skull, the, 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 the skull away and just start fucking anywhere. Okay, yeah. alright, so, um, I, I look at, I look at Torn and I say, um, Master Torn, could, could you, could you watch Master Devlo for a moment? Why is that? Would would you please just accept? I I don't want to leave him alone, but I I must I must for a brief moment. Uh, are are you killing him? This is out of character, by the way. Are you, <laughs> are you killing him? I might be. I want in on it. You're not doing that alone. No, no, no just wait. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna come. For you. <laughs> You're saying they're just walking away. <laughs> He seems I got him. Away. Thank you. I got Thank him. You. Thank you. And I, I turn to, um, I turn to Kane, and I say, Master Kane, I, I do not feel safe leaving him alive. Kane just looks at Tin Kane. Tin Kane, that's the first word you ever said that I should agree with. Um, so we kind of like go Wait, around. Wait, I'm sorry, please don't. I, 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 um, I, I, I look at, as he starts talking, I look at Kane, I'm like, um, could you please shut him up? I take his tongue. No, no, that's too dark. I just knock him out. No, no, just, just talk about, yeah. Um, all right, so then we walk kind of where Devlo definitely can't see us. Yeah, um, I, I can't see you. I, I, I already walk away. Yeah, okay. I'm picking up, I'm picking up. The other school, like shown Deblo, my eight. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you have the little puppet show with them in the distraction. Kane I, just. I got you, right? I'll be, I'll be the stepfather. I'll be the that's stepfather. Cute. Kane that's just cute. taps Tin Can on the show. Tin Can, I need you to do something for me before we do what we must be done. Dig yes. a grave for him, okay? No we man won't... should die lay on the ground. Dig a grave for him, and I'll take care of the rest. Don't get your hands bloody. I can agree to these terms. Right. I'll perform his last rites and pray to. <laughs> we're God. like we're giving we're giving this guy like a nicer death. Than, 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 like, <laughs> we are better persons. We can do things more nicely. This is some character growth for Kate. He's trying to be. He's seen yeah. true evil, and he's like, I want to be a bad guy. Like this is actually pretty legit. I like this. Oh yeah. All right. Um, I'm sure it wouldn't take me too long to dig a hole. Oh I don't... yeah, it, it wouldn't. There are some dirt parts in the cavern that you could easily uh, shovel through. Kane begins to on a little on me this quick sight we don't use all day. By all the gods that are in the heaven and the earth, please take this lost soul and make him his final rest. Let him be forgiven for his deeds, for he was only a lost soul like myself. May he find peace in the afterlife, and may evil like this never rise again. Amen. And he's just Very nice quiet. words, King. Thank you. Are the graves ready? Yes. He, I, like, Tin Can's already, like, put him in the grave. Like, he's... Right. I'll take my long sword and just stab him through the heart. Quick, easy, painless. All right, you do that, and yep, he just unceremoniously dies. Let's fill up the grave quickly. Yep. I, I'm hell. acting like a. I kind of like glitch a little bit and like start acting like a dog and like flip over onto the pile that I just made of dirt and start like throwing it backwards on back onto like I'm burying him like a dog would. Kane just sits down on the nearest rock and just thinks to himself. Two days ago, I was sitting at the inn as a dog guard, just drinking ale, flirting with Kale. Now I'm in a fucking dungeon. 
that this shit happens. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to go like for. Uh, I'm going to go for two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. Right. As I'm still kicking the dirt, I'm just like, it's weird how life works, isn't it? What do you mean, Tin Can? Yeah. Uh, keel, uh, keep. Uh, feel free to keep interacting. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Well, I was left behind by my people because I am broken, and I like motion to my my arcane core and Kane just looks at you and oh, you were abandoned too? I know that feeling. Yes, they they left me on the material plane. I was... Well, it, it's a little bit fractured. I, I don't remember everything exactly as I should, but I, I was created for a, a war in the Feywild between the summer and the autumn court. Kane's looked at the autumn court. What is that? Well, the Feywild is split up. Excuse me. The Feywild is split up into different seasons, mm -hmm. and each each region is controlled over by a different court. I see. And the the Eladrin rule over the Feywild, mm -hmm. and I was created by them. And yet they abandoned you. They did. They they left me. They banished me, well, to the to the material plane. You see, because I was of no use to them. You see, Kane tearing up a little bit, clenching his hands. You can clearly see that he has some painful memories. I I was built for a war that I never got to fight in. And yet they abandoned you. You didn't deserve that, Tin Can. You didn't deserve that. If you hey, ask me, I, I I like to think it's their loss, isn't it? It is their loss. If they can't see the value you have, <laughs> then they are the morons if they abandon what they <laughs> created. You see Kane just fighting emotions right now. He doesn't truly know what feels like. Um, at, at, the, so at the sight of you, like, getting upset, and, like, clearly having a moment, like, Tim Kane glitches out a little bit, and he just goes, what is the nature of your psychiatric emergency? Kane takes a deep breath and he said, Kane, Tin Can, this day is between us two. I was abandoned by my parents to a world that didn't care for me, appreciate me, nothing to my name but a dagger and a necklace. And do you know why I'm a way out like I am? Rough? Sometimes murderous, violent, evil, perhaps. I would not say that you are evil, my friend. Those who knew me may say otherwise. But my parents created me just like the fake court created you, but decided I had no use for them, so they abandoned me as well. Well,. If I've learned anything from Master Devlo, it's that you can find family anywhere. Kane just notices it. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He's a great little guy, Devlo, isn't he? He really is. He, he's the first person I've seen in, well, ever that made me want to start living again. Kane just makes a short laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Though he can drive me crazy at times. I seem to believe he's growing on you. Yeah, I believe that feeling is likewise. Kane just stands up, walks over to you, to Tin Can, and just extends his hand to you. And says, thank you. And he, he shakes your hand. And says, thank and you. Sorry. <clears throat> no. Kane just shakes his hands and says, thank you for being my, what's, what's the word you people use? Start with an F. Um, I believe the word you're looking for is friend. Yes, that's it. Thank you for being my friend. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Feels good. Yeah, that's the word. 
Um, I think I'm a, a, we're, we should, uh, I guess, walk back to yeah. the puppet show that's happening. Jane Joe's like, all right, enough right, mushing off, let's get back to yours before they think otherwise. <clears throat> yes, yes. <clears throat> So, so uh, Ma Ma Master Deblo, we we sent the nice neck of along. Down. What? Uh, <clears throat> uh, as soon as as I as Deblo dropped this call, he started walking away. Oh no! Yes, the guy was still alive. Um, you you were um, you were still arguing what to do uh, when Deblo started to walk away. I thought you were having a puppet show. I was having puppy show by myself. I was trying to show him, but you know he was just walking away. Oh, he's 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 he's, he's where is he? Where <laughs> where is he? Ready to go? Can't just start. <laughs> Far to the right. Well, I thought I I thought he was right there. And you're like he he drops he drops the skull uh, after after <laughs> he drops the skull. He looks at me. <laughs> well, just like baby um, day out style, just like disappeared. And no one heard of him again. Kane just puts face palm himself with both hands, like, of all things today. <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta rescue the cobalt before he kills himself. Right. Toran. Where did you last see him? It was uh, right after right after Sparky. He uh, he uh, told me to look after him, and so I sat down. He was standing there, and then like I was, I was messing around with the skulls, and he left. And you didn't bother to. Stop him? At the moment, I didn't realize. <laughs> right. <laughs> I I walk down the hallway that I think <laughs> I depo is, I guess. But are you just gone? You're just gone. I just stopped the walking. <laughs> they they're not just stopped the walking. Not even not even checking, but uh, everybody. <laughs> Kane just goes he shouting would, out, Deplo! Deplo! He would have, he would have, Deplo would have objected to killing the guy. He just started walking away when he said he would be a farmer before you knocked him out. <laughs> Only just, all that time he's like been he walking said, away. He said he'd be a farmer and you were like, cool, we did it! And then you just walked away. That's literally what happened. <laughs> Mission accomplished! We stopped him! <laughs> but Kane and Tin Can had other plans for him. Early uh, retirement. Yes, I, no. yes I'm gonna be a farmer. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got the benefit of early retirement. Oh, yeah. I was playing first edition with my parents and my, uh, my dad DMs. So it was me and my mom. And we're in this cave, and we just we actually were fighting a bunch of cobalts because in first edition they're just always monsters. And they will join the Joe game. And, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, then like we it was like a whole like village of cobalt in the cave, and we defeated all the like adults. But then like we were left with all these children, these like child oh. cobalts, right? And I was like, I was playing as a paladin, I think, and I was like, well, we can't just murder these children. I don't care if they're kobolds. Like, oh, it's like that one episode from Goblin Slayer. It was basically yeah, that, I was thinking yeah. the same thing. And, um, but this happened to me in real life, like, six years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, we can't just kill them. And my mom was like a rogue, and she's like, well, no, we gotta kill them. Like, <laughs> they're gonna die. And... Um, my because why teach like, them to be good members of society? Well, it's more or less in first edition. If something's chaotic evil, there's no hope of it becoming good. Like it's, yeah. it's doomed to be bad. Like if like so, monsters are just gonna be bad, and okay. there's not a lot of gray area with the bad guys in first edition. <laughs> like an evil wizard is just an evil wizard. <laughs> just, just back up. <laughs> um. 
but yeah, I was like, I don't know if we should do this. And then my dad was playing an NPC in our party, and he was like, Yeah, Mr. Paladin, you uh, you just clean up here, and we're gonna send the kids on their way. And like they tricked me, and they like took all the kids outside and just massacred the children. Yikes! <laughs> and I just was none the wiser. Like gave us a bunch of extra experience. He was like, "That was incredible. That was great. You, you get extra experience points for role playing." <laughs> Yikes from me, dog. He was like, "Out of all the, I've run that adventure like probably a hundred times, and not once has anyone ever like had a moral quandary about the cobalt children." They were just like, "Oh yeah, we killed them. <laughs> they're, they're evil little cobalts." Like, yeah, and I was just like, "I don't think we should kill the kids. Like that's really grim." Where, by the way, where's Owen? Uh, he, uh, he had to leave for a moment. He said he'd be back in a couple minutes. Hmm. Speaking of, how long were you guys talking about killing the guy and then killed the guy? It wasn't very long. But roughly five six minutes. minutes. I'd say around five, yeah, five or six minutes. Maybe one minute, yeah, kill, they... one minute for digging and killing him. And the rest are talking. Yeah, they is definitely dead now. Is it out of the cave or dead? Yeah, he's just, he's somewhere, he doesn't, we don't know where he is. Which direction did you go? In? Uh, just after walking. I mean, I literally rolled a d4 to see where I was going to go. Kane just walks, walks further down the path where we came from in hope and just shouting, Deplo, where the fuck are you? I wanna, I wanna hope that we, uh, we checked that guy before. <laughs> Let's go back and much... dig up the grave. Let's go back yeah, to the grave. Let's go back to the grave. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm like, hang on. Did anyone check his body? <laughs> uh, okay, just right, wide eye. All right. Well, I was just gonna say I don't know how much RP we should do with Owen here, but oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh. Oh. All, all you missed what was, you mean? was a heartfelt conversation between two new friends, and it was it was great. We bonded over murdering a guy. It was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. We were like, oh, also, I, I, I started goods. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Devil is lost. We don't know where he went. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, for, so... for real, Devil is lost. He walked away for like five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Where, actually... Walking... <laughs> Where actually is Devlo? I, I I mean it. He's lost. Um, what whoa. direction did you walk in? Um, uh, he is right over here. Le left uh, his tunnel. space is over here. I think. I mean, I I I moved Devlo there, like two minutes before uh, they decided to kill the guy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but they, they, they started walking. She started walking. So did he start walking uh, out Away. Yes. to the right this way or this way? This way. He walked this way. Okay, so then you, uh, then I will request because you would have seen it. Um. I. There I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Like, they were walking to an office. <laughs> Going back to this area, uh, an oval cavern opens here, 40 feet wide and 60 feet wide. Uh, dark purple tapestries hang on the walls. At the center stands a pedestal fashioned of severed arms, arranged to clutch one another in a cone. Cradled in the uppermost hands is a glowing crystal sphere, and a dark sigil with an eye-like with an eye-like slit, sorry, floats above the sphere. Um. Yeah. Then. Did, then I. Then I've been walking. Can can I say that I searched that guy's body before I buried him with Yes. Dirt? Um on his body you wouldn't have found much. It's um it's just, you know, uh six gold pieces, thirteen silver, and his arcane focus. Alright, I I give all of that to uh to Devla when I find him, when I catch up with him. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Since uh, I since I walk away since I walk away, I can't speak. I walked away, 
like five or seven mi or like five minutes ago, then I'm halfway casting detect magic. All right. So, uh, casting detect magic. Actually, uh, detect magic lasts an hour, so you would still have oh. it from a. Uh, um, <clears throat> oh, that's good. You would still have it from when you ritual cast it before. So, uh, give me a moment. Seeing the uh, when you cast detect magic, the uh, the crystal sphere that you can see glows with uh, what looks like an evocation magic. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Where is where is the crystal? It is right. Uh, give me a second. It's right here. Okay. Then since I'm next to it and nothing happened, I'm going to cut to turn the knob on the back side of my hand and ritual cast is identify on that crystal. Yep. As far uh, as far away as I can, without mm -hmm. touch, touching it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, oh, it's so sorry. Uh, I <clears throat> also forgot to mention there was something else. Uh, an item is stowed away, um, like behind the drape, the like the drapes that you can see right in this area as well. Um, something that also glows uh, evocation. Um, and, uh, can I see it? Identify, uh, yeah, you can You're see it. Um, uh, when you pull it out, it's this, uh, it is this, uh, short metal shaft with this, uh, at the end of it, this almost, like, blue-greenish, uh, jutting crystal that seems to be in this, like, sort of, uh, this arcing, almost like lightning pattern. Okay. Uh, the, when you, yep, when you cast Identify on the, uh, on the, uh, on the sphere, it is revealed that it is, uh, it is a drift description of that. Let's see, uh, right here, okay. There. Uh, this small sphere of thick glass weighs one pound. If you feed of it, you speak its command word and cause it to uh, emanate the light or daylight spell. Once used, the daylight effect can't be used until the next dawn. Uh, you can speak another command word as an action to make the illuminated globe rise into the air and float no more than five feet off the ground. The globe hovers in this way until you or another creature grasps it. If you move more than 60 feet from the hovering globe, it follows you until it is within 60 feet of you. It takes the shortest route to do so. If prevented from moving, the globe <laughs> sinks gently into the ground and becomes inactive, and its light winks out. That's good. Just, that's just like a little art display beneath it. It's pretty much like a flashlight of sorts. I'll put the uh, image. But it was like in a display of like corpse arms, right? Like yeah, the... yeah. It's like <laughs> almost this like grotesque macabre uh, museum display. And... I, I, I turn to uh, to Kane and I like kind of like whisper. I'm like, I think we made the right choice. Kane just whispers back. You are absolutely you know right about that one. Um, then I'd be casting Identify on the metal shaft. That sounds like a spearhead, I guess. Alright, uh, casting Identify on it, um, you, uh, you reveal that it is, in fact, a Wand of Magic Missile. Oh, that's awesome! Um, okay, then I would so keep... Oh, there um, you go. Uh, that's it does require hope. attunement uh, by a spellcaster. Um, How and big it is has it? Seven charge. Seven That's charges. awesome. How big is the one? It's probably about like uh, the. It's uh, a Harry Potter little... kind of one, like yeah, a it's, hand. Yeah, uh, it's like it could. It's probably not even a foot long. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. So can you use this once a day to cast a seventh level <laughs> magic missile? You could. I mean, it technically Holy it shit. would it would be more damage to uh, cast it seven times at first level, but you could. Oh, would it really? Yeah. Um. Then I each, will. For each additional level, oh, yeah, it only they adds... all hit regardless. That's right. It just hits. Mm -hmm. yeah. It uh, it currently uh, when you cast identify, you know that it currently has four charges. Um. But those those charges restore by dawn or dusk, yep. I think it was. Okay. I want to keep 
I want to give the one to friend because he, he doesn't have any kind of French. Well, actually, oh, never mind. It but... does not. It does not require attunement. My bad. It does not require attunement. Oh yeah. my God! Could you like equip it to my body somehow? Could you like fashion it onto my shoulder? Put a maxi single yeah, look at my red cheek. Thing. <laughs> like a, like a shoulder turret. Yeah. <laughs> a shoulder turret. A predator turret. That is so wicked. You don't have to. I just thought it was cool. Yeah, but no. the thing I I you want to give it to Thorn. I want to give it. Uh, uh, friend doesn't yeah. have any means of ranged attack, but I want to give it to Thorn because he did, he didn't get anything so far. All right. Oh, yeah, I, I don't need. I I I'm a. I like to get up close anyway, so I don't really need a range option. I'm going right. to grab both things on. I have hand axes too, I like to check. Mm -hmm. Actually! Also behind the, uh, also behind the uh, uh, curtains you can see is a considerable amount of what seems to be coins and other uh, valuables. In fact, uh, 165 silver, 78 gold, and uh, four of these polished black jet gems. Um, recognize they are worth 50 gold each. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, can you repeat that? 170 something silver? 165 silver. How many gold? 78. And. Uh, and gems? Uh, four polished gems worth 50 each. Um, or, uh, yeah. Let me know when you're good when you're done writing all that down. I'm done. All right, and in addition to this, you are now all level three. Hey! Yay. Oh, oh man, that's really cool. All right. So that means I'm finally an actual alchemist. Are we still yeah. in? Are we still in this cave? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, actually, what I'm like, going to do? For a second, I'm like, oh, wait, what? I'm going to put both items, both magic items in my backpack, start climbing to Thorn um, on a Shadow of the Colossus style, <laughs> and sit on, on his head and tie the and tie the to his horns using a rope. <laughs> You're just going to tie the wand to his horns? No, I'm going to tie the orb between oh, his okay. horns. <laughs> yes. All right, so you just see him. Uh, Torn, you just see the uh, cobalt just scurry up you, and uh, with this uh, sort of glass-looking blue globe, and he takes it with rope and sort of just like fashions it and like ties it between your horns. So, so um, Corn, are you going to resist? Are you going to oh, crap. throw me down? I get the tech magic. I forgot. I'm gonna yeah. look up at Deblo and I'm gonna sweat at him to get down. What? I'm gonna swat at him to get down. So. Okay. Then I guess I fall to the ground. Man, I don't want to hurt you, it's just... No, but... I'm like I shooting mean... you away, you know? I'm just going to extend my to extend both items in my hands and give it to Thorn. Because... Yeah, man, um... Do you want, do you want this or not? Uh, I mean, uh, I'll take them. And, uh, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. Alright, so I'm going to take your javelins. Yep, you now have the drift globe and the uh, wand of magic. Then I'm going to grab your, jav your javelins. Can I do that, Owen? Hmm? Can I try and grab Corn and um, Thorn's javelins? And uh, Corn, you... are you okay with me doing that? Uh, I want sure. to give them to. I want to give. Okay, then I. And I'm going to... Uh, um, Owen, can I do that? Uh, what are you going to try to do with the javelins? I want to take them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, and since now I have them... How many javelins do I have now? Uh, I only have one. Yeah, he just oh. had one. Okay. And <laughs> I'm going to get to work and push it against um, friends' jeans, I guess. To, um, let go, let go like of it and walk away. Just like, just like poke him against him with it. I, I, I'm poking the with the side. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having it. Just take it, basically. You're yes. Just like, you're just like putting it on me. But I, but I'm letting let, but I'm letting go before you take it, so it falls <laughs> to the ground. Just, 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 you just think it's gonna like magnetize to me. You're like, and he's got yeah. it now. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. I I pick up the javelin and I like quietly walk over, <laughs> torn, and I'm like, I just just let him have his fun. I don't think he needs anything by it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sigh and be like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, then we, we've got to revive the money. Alright, so, That's uh, my new max hit points. 41. Uh, so, go ahead and uh, I'll do your uh, level up stuff. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> 41 silver for each. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get that many hit points on that one. How much, uh, what did you roll on the die? Oh, it's a, it's a d12 is my hit die, right? Yeah. And then I add my con modifier? Yeah, what, what number did you roll? A uh, one. Uh, you can re-roll ones. Okay. I, okay, um. I rolled a one again! <laughs> Reroll until you get something that's not a one or a two. Okay. Um, Owen, uh, are, we, so... are we using that, that is the additional rule that we can take the average? The average? Uh, yeah, I saw there, there was an average. Uh, there will be some left over because you know you can't split it into 0.5 gold. Oh, no, I mean, I mean, the, are we using that additional rule or optional rule that we can take the average, average hit dice? When we oh, level yeah, up. Yeah, if you want to. You can either roll or it's your choice. I'm fine with six. Yeah. So yeah, I got a uh, I got I got nine hit points, that's better than three. <laughs> I too got nine hit points. I have plus three constitution. Alright, uh um Carnes and uh Corn, what did you guys get for you? What are we rolling for? Uh your level up yeah, hit points. Right, so what are we rolling? Uh, you roll a d10 and add your constitution modifier. One? You can re-roll once. So yeah, you, um... You can oh. re-roll ones. I got nine. That's five. Uh, you roll a d8, uh, Corn, because you are a druid. Oh. Right, so your HP goes up by five plus your constitution modifier. Choosing plus um, 5 plus 3, that's 6, 7, 8. So the mine's now uh, 33. I am so excited ah. to rage now. Oh my god. You're a uh, wild soul, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So yeah, yeah that's right. You, you, uh, guys, you guys notice um, if, you, if you look over at Tin Can, the crack that was the small crack that was in his arcane core has like fully opened due to his Ooh. last rage and like it's basically just like not split completely down the middle but there's like a crack running i'm going to go up pockets i'm going to poke the crack you're gonna what i'm going to poke it poke, gonna poke it? yes when you poke it um it just like like arcane like fey energy just like crackles out of it. Like it's it's very volatile. Poke harder. <laughs> um. This all right. This would kind of be fun. Oh, and can I just can I roll on the on the wild search table because it's poking my core. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kind of, I just wanna I just, just wanna see if anything will happen. All right. Roll a d8. This is actually really. Uh, Okay. Um, are you right in front of me? Uh -oh. Yes, I'm. I, I'm. I'm holding. I'm holding myself from your neck, and my feet are on your stomach. Uh oh. Okay, so uh, you just got unibeamed. Uh, a beam of brilliant light lances from my chest at a five foot wide, sixty foot long line. I have so. Each creature in the line must exceed a constitution saving throw or take 2d8 radiant damage and be blinded until the start of my next turn. Well, considering it's light, I take the damage, I guess. Because I'm fucking sensible to light. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, make the con save. <laughs> you gotta make a con save. And as you, as since your detect magic is still up, you just like you just like poke at it a few times, and you see it glowing, and you just realize, uh oh, as it just. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, Master uh, Devlo, please don't! <laughs> so like, um, wow, plus 5 constitution, um, 13. Uh, I rolled a 13. I mean, I rolled an 8, I have plus 5. Um, hang on, I don't see where do I have... What, is my, what would my DC be? Um, uh, oh, okay, forget. my DC is equal to 8 plus my proficiency bonus plus my con modifier, so... 8 plus... It's still two, or is it three now? Uh, your proficiency bonus is still one. Okay. Uh, so ten plus my con modifier. I have thirty-one hit points, so I'm I'm gonna be fine. I think you're good though, because it's only yeah, it's only a thirteen. Do you so yeah, you save and you take no damage. Yeah, so you just see you're able to react in time with the glowing of detect magic, and you just uh oh, and just move right out of the way before. So yeah, a laser beam just like shoots into the wall. An Iron Man laser beam, I imagine. Yeah, this laser just like glances out and like uh, makes this pop in the wall that just like it looks like it was carved out clean. I shouldn't fuck that anymore. <laughs> yes, um, I I don't believe you're in any danger of being around me. I, I don't think I'm going to, you know, explode or anything like that, but um, just... I'm going to glad yeah. to his shoulder again. <laughs> yes, you should probably stay up there from, from now on. That would be safest. Um, so, regarding money, we've got 41 silver each and one spare. 19 gold each and two gold spare and one gem each. One um, gem, one fifty gold. We can, we can, we can just jerky the loot once we get back in town. Mm -hmm. that yeah, sure. That'd be a good call because we might get more stuff, so we can like split it all up later once we're chilling. Where's Wizardy guy? Oh, he <laughs> he left to go be a farmer, like we talked about. How oh, can we miss it? Can we miss it? Kane just walks toward the uh, master Teplo. The um, thing is, um, the farm is very far away, but yes, yes. we'll make sure to visit someday, but not now, okay? That's okay. Great. <laughs> I just whisper to take care. The necromancer went to a farm far away. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Kane just whispers to Tin Can. Make sure he forgets. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo will forget before we get to to kill Agma. I I believe he will forget before we even leave the cave. God. <laughs> I think I think um I I believe we've we've completed our task here. I think we should return to town and, and yeah. report on what we found. Let's go home and get a drink and leave this shit behind. Alright, uh, oh, um, what, uh, what subclass did you pick for, uh, Kane, uh, Karns? Um, I think I've chose the Battlemaster, that's what makes sense to me. Alright, yeah, so, uh, whenever you get the moment, uh, go through and, uh, pick out which, uh, which maneuvers you think would be best for you. And, oh, yeah, uh, that's awesome, I forgot. Yeah, Battle, uh, Battlemaster is fun. I will, uh, I will also send, um, in the general chat a, uh, one of the Unearthed Arcanas that have a couple more, uh, maneuvers in there, and I think some of them are really good, and I will, uh, I will just give you this Unearthed Arcana, and, uh, everything in this is allowed. There are also some, uh, some changes to, uh, other class features that you guys might want to check out, um, nobody here is playing a ranger, but there's a one that's really good for ranger in there, uh, there we go. Have they fixed Ranger? Um, there's Revised Ranger, which is a, lo a lot better than, uh, you know, the, uh, the standard Ranger. Because that's, that was my class of choice in first edition. I yeah, um... Love being a Ranger. Ranger is actually really good now, because, uh, with that and the newer... They can basically, uh, what they can do is they can, uh, cast Hunter's Mark that does not require concentration once oh. per, uh... Uh, and the amount of times equal to their wisdom mod per rest. That's really nice. 
Yeah, it is really nice. Um, if if we're going, we are leaving now, back to the tavern. I yeah. would like to r roll, I guess, to see if I can think of any kind of alchemical material growing in this kind of caves, or I can find on the way back. Um, so you're looking for uh, stuff with like your herbalism kit, then make a... Uh... I don't have an, a herbalism kit, it was oh, right. removed from the artificer. Then, the uh, right, make a, uh, while you guys are huddling back, yeah, then make a, uh, make a nature check for me. I can can I assist? I'm yeah, can I assist? Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, do I roll again? Yeah, you have advantage. Like nature, plus... nature. Plus four. That's a seventeen. Yeah. Um, you're able to find some uh, some different plants that you might be able to use for alchemical purposes. You'll have to study them a bit further, but uh, you'll uh, you'll be able to find them eventually. This is me saying I'll get a crafting system set up. <laughs> okay. It, it. I'll get I'll get a crafting system set up before next. I'm, I'm just imagining, like, Deblo's still on my shoulder, and he he's, like, pointing out any plant he sees, and he's like, that one? Go and there. I'm just like, Go I'm, there. Just, like <laughs> I'm like, no, not that one, Master Deblo. This one may be of use to you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, No, I want to see that one. <laughs> no, no, that's poison, my friend. You don't, you don't want the poison. I want the poison! <laughs> no, you don't want the poison. You might accidentally drink it. I don't want that. <laughs> but it's tasty! Change your no, size. not now, and I just like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm picking up some of the ones he used. Like, I'm like, putting them in my bag, and like, let's Kane go, Josh, we're going. Kane Rich Watch, can't we go home now? <laughs> I, I I actually like, like, Devil is protesting, I just like, throw him over my shoulder, start like, jogging. I'm like, we're going home, this is it, enough. <laughs> <laughs> We had enough oh. playtime today. You, you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys get home, it's about uh, say five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the sun is starting to set. Um, in the uh, in the early spring sky, and you guys get back to Red Lark relatively quickly. Um. It's, it took about two hours to get here, and it's about two hours you took to get it back, so you get there in time. Uh, you go back to the, uh, to the swinging sword, and, uh, excuse me, um, the people seem to be there. The town is, uh, the tavern is bustling with its normal, uh, its normal nightly patrons. And you can, uh, you can also see Kalesa sitting behind the bar, uh, serving to people and, uh, you know, serving their drinks. Okay. We're back! Sweetie, I'm home! Oh, you guys are back, huh? Yes. Well, soon you took care of it then, huh? Yes. Yes, yes, the, the necromancer won't be trapped any, any Oh, that's good to hear. That it's guy became a farmer! He's a farmer now! Y yes, 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 yes. He's a, he's a farmer! She makes car Oh, um, a farmer, okay. I just signaled to her, you know, the, your finger across the throat. <laughs> right, okay, then uh, I'm glad he's happy with that. Yeah, I think yes, he'll be very happy. for the rest of his life. <laughs> and I got this! I'm going to, to pull out the flask, and I'm going to, uh, to use the fountain word. <laughs> The, oh god, okay. Just <laughs> above the. Just in the floor, I'm mixing it up the time that. Just like that. You just like take out the. You're taking out the decanter and the fountain. Without a second thought. I got these! Fountain! <laughs> oh, no. You just take the. Uh, you just take the. Uh, the, the decanter out, and she's like, oh, what's that? And you just pull out the cork and like. Yeah, five gallons of water just. <laughs> Just like start blowing right out of it, right onto the tavern floor. <laughs> Kane just rushes to try to stop it. 
<laughs> it, like, it, it's like out over a period of like six seconds, so it just... It's just a I don't know what, what a gallon is. is. Is that much one? Is that not? Uh, a gallon, I think, is like four-ish liters. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I should drop 20 liters of water in the middle of the tower. <laughs> That's how to bother someone. So yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's 3.78 liters in one gallon. So as soon That's as I lot. see this happen, I... I, I, I I'm very, very sorry. He's very excited and I, <laughs> I grab the decanter from him. Hey, that's mine! Bag. Mine! Uh, mine! You mine! You'll get it back! Give it back! Give it back! As the water just like spills onto the ground, Kayla's just... Hey, uh, it's just like her like jaw drops, just like... No. And like, almost exhaustion. It's just, mine! Kayla... Will you, will oh. you behave? Devlo, will you... Kane will you just not puts his shoulder on Kayla. It's mine! Kayla... Uh, I'll give it back if you promise not to do it again. Kane okay. just signals okay. Kayla. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll I'll clean it up. Okay? I'll clean it up. Uh, thanks. That's much appreciated. No, no. No worries, dear. Think, um, where where is your mop, dear? Um, mop's right in the closet over there. The first... I I I grab Devlo by the scruff and I pull him over to the closet and I and I say, grab the mop, Master Devlo, and clean up the mess you made. This is good. I will teach you good manners. While, I went back for trying to grab the flask. While they two do the cleaning process and Tin Kane's just racing Diplo here, Kane's just walking over to Kayla and just whispering to her. So, did you read my letter? Mm -hmm. The letter? Yeah. What was in the letter? I forgot. I'm sorry. It was a kind of a flirting love letter. I wrote in that 20 on that one. Yeah, I read you a letter. What about it? She like gives like a smug smile. I. I hope you liked it, if I could get some feedback. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. You're just being evil now. <laughs> maybe. What do you learn that from? Hmm. <sighs> you wouldn't know. Uh, but hey, it's good that you guys took care of everything, you know? It's, <sighs> it's good to see that some people are trying to make this, you know, a better place. Just to be clear, while Devlo is... is... He's mopping in view. He's still two and a half feet. That's like half a half meter. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> the mop is it's like a good like four foot long mop, and you're just like taking it and doing your best to uh, to mop up the water. Kayla, can I please have a shot of our strongest alcohol, please? I sure. Need a after drink. today, it's on the house. Great. Make it strong. I I need a strong glass today. <laughs> she gets you a she gets you a shot of this uh, dwarven fire ski. I just take a shot and go. <laughs> one more, please, and I'll pay that one. Mhm. Mm Torn's oh, gonna flop down at his seat. Uh, Torn's just gonna flop down a stool and cover uh, cover his brow with his uh, hands. <laughs> And um, start massaging his temple. Thank <laughs> yeah. you for you. She uh, just uh, looks over here. Um, uh, okay. it, it'd be nice, yeah. What can I get you? Whatever you'd like. I don't care. Just something. Not something strong. I'll get you some mail. Sounds good. And she just uh, hands you over a kind uh, of dark. I'm gonna uh, slowly start downing it. Alright. Oh, when you say you don't have a crafting system yet? Uh, no, I do not have a crafting system yet. However, uh, if you guys want to work with me as far as creating for, um, uh, for weapons and armor, but for, uh, for potions and stuff like that as well, I am, uh, more than willing to, uh, you know, go through with you guys what, uh, anything you guys want to do for that. Um, sure, but as of right now, you say you have one for weapons and armor? I mean, basic idea of it, yeah. Um, 
Do I would have, like to. Uh, you have proficiency in smith tools, right? Yes, I have proficiency and smith tools, I think. All right. Um, I'd like to. After I'm done mopping, <laughs> I'd like to try and go back to the forge. Oh, um, I'd like to try and go to the forge and see if the guy is still there. All right. I want. I want to try to make a chain that's sharpened on the outside, as I told you on that on the, that last message, mm -hmm. to use as a whip, hoping it will need more than a D4. Uh, yeah, you go out and uh, go to the forge. He is not there. I am using his, using his forge then. Um, yeah. I did bring friend with me, Pia, yeah, Tinka. Yep. Alright. What, what happened? What happened? I'm sorry. I brought you with me to the forge. No, yeah, he's going to is that okay with you? To, uh, yeah, it's something. Alright, uh, if going you to... are trying to forge it, make me a check. Um, before that, I... Mm -hmm. it. Where is it? Um, I can't. I have a thing... The three short swords, one long sword, and... Seven scimitars, I don't know if Torm took the one I offered. The what? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, then seven scimitars. I'm going to make that ch that sharpened chain, and I'm going to melt the rest of the, uh, all those weapons into ingots. Alright. So, uh, how many weapons were It was seven scimitars. Seven scimitars. One long sword because I gave one to Kane and three short swords we I found we got in the, the last place. Alright, seven scimitars, three short swords and, and one long sword. Swords. Yes. One long sword. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do for the metal as far as the crafting system. So I'm going to take each the weight of each item and um i'm going to convert that into like that many pounds of iron ingot so if sure. you have like so it will be the weight of all of those combined in iron ingots and you'll need that to uh craft um uh certain weapons and armor like you'll need that many uh that much weight of ingots or something like that sure i feel that, that, that that's good yeah. all right so uh and honestly, that's it's basic enough melting that down so that if you have pro if you have proficiency in the tools, you don't really need to make a check for it because that's just easy enough as molding it and melting it down. Yes, and um, that's what I got from my background mm -hmm. uh, for being an artisan. Yep. Um, all right, let's do all this stuff. Oh, so <coughs> bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six for <coughs> so, oh, yeah. the swords. Bless you. <laughs> it's 26, 26 pounds from the short swords and scimitars. Uh, it is actually 27 because the, uh, there are seven scimitars and they weigh three each, so 21, six from the short swords, three for the long sword. So it is 30 gold, oh. or not 30 gold, sorry, 30 pounds of iron ingots. That's not much, is it? I mean, it's 30 pounds of iron is, uh... That's 30 uh, pounds of iron? That's 30 pounds of iron. Uh, think of it this way. Um, um, no, I'm yeah. sorry, I mean, I'm not used to pounds. Oh, um, right, pounds. Uh, 15, uh, 15, 15, 15 kilograms, 15 kilograms, uh, that's fine. Yep. Um, I'm going to use what, um, a couple ingots and make a chain. Uh, can I make a 15, 15 feet long chain to get a reach of 10 feet? Uh, pardon, a fifth, sorry, a 15 reach. Uh, what's up? What's that? Um, can I make a, te a 15 feet long chain mm -hmm. to make okay. a weapon with a, with a reach of 15 feet? Or mm -hmm. is that a problem? In the reach of 15 feet, it's going to be uh, decently difficult to make a weapon. Then I'm going to make a, regu a regular long, a regular length chain. Alright, uh, with 10 feet would be more feasible, 15, that's... 
Yeah, that's mechanically speaking, that's really long to have a melee weapon. Uh, that's the regular length of a whip because it has the reach property. Uh, it's usually uh, with reach, it's ten feet. Yes, that's what that's what I say. Uh, if I since it's going to. I said 15, but you said it would be difficult, so I say that it's just going oh. to make a regular length width. Okay, yeah. Chain. Um, yeah, with a regular length chain, uh, it would not be difficult. Yeah. Um, I'd set the DC as like 9, 10. If it were, uh, if you want to do 15, I'm going to say I'll set the DC to 14. Then I make it 15. And do I run? So it's going to be DC 14. <laughs> 15. Oh yeah, you you were able to make it. Um, hey. Yep, then so, I'm, uh, and I'm going to make a smiley face to put in the end. Because you can never lay down being killed by the whip or by by the chain of smiles. <laughs> well, smiley face. Okay. Yes. So now, um, it is still a D4 weapon. Because it is, after all, a chain. Okay. It still has the it still has the finesse and reach probably reach of fifty feet. Okay. All right. And uh, getting back to you on uh, how much uh, how much uh, pounds to uh, kilograms? Thirty pound is about thirteen and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. Yep. Yeah. So well. uh, and considering that um uh chain armor is fifty five pounds this says with. Not at all realistic, but whatever. Um, it's a decent amount. Yeah, uh, um, I already got my whip. I'm done. I'm Great. just gonna climb on some friend's shoulder, put my ingots in his backpack, and yep. whatever's next. Yep. And uh, that took three pounds of iron, so you have uh, 27 pounds of iron in this. Okay. Alright. Uh, is there anything you were going to do, uh, Kane or Torn? Uh, in regards to... Uh, I'm just anything around the tavern. Uh, nah, I'm gonna finish whatever drink I got, and then probably look to head to... head to my room early. The big man's tired. Alright. Um, and, uh... Gold, did you say the split was? Um, 41, 41 silver with one silver spare, and each, 41 each with, a, with one spare. 19 gold each with two gold spare, and one polished gem with worth 50 gold pieces each. There, um, it's on roll 20 again. So 41 silver, 19 gold, and you said. And then there was the gem that was worth 50? Yes. Yes, 50. It was like a small black, blackened gem? Mm hmm. Oh, um, I forgot. Can I try and buy a cart and a donkey? Uh, yeah, uh, you can buy, try to buy a, uh, cart and a donkey, except you look those things in the car. On the way back from making the chain. Yeah. <laughs> the, the chain of smiles. Uh, okay, so, um, it is, uh, for a cart, it is 15 gold pieces, and for a... Donkey, it is eight gold pieces, so it would be twenty-three gold in total. Uh huh. I have. I have like thirty gold pieces. Without today's, but um. <clears throat> I want a better price. Uh, give me a second. I'll just go up to the. Where is it? Give me just a second. I, I really, I really wish I had the app. 
and not the PDF, because if I, if I want to get to something, I can just have it in the book instead of, you know, having to have, like, six you know different what? tabs of the you know PDF. What? Forget it. Forget it. You okay. say the three gold pieces, right? Oh, no, it's fine. I can uh, let me just take you a moment. Oh, yeah. I might I might swap out Danger Sense from Survival Inc. I'm looking at that. I'm just thinking prefer, I really prefer spent. Danger Sense, um, just personally because I think it is pretty strong mechanically. Advantage on deck saves, yeah. it's very, very helpful. It's like, try to hit me with a fireball, I dare you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very helpful because, that you know, okay. Barbarian's all about damage completion. If we didn't have an Artificer to do skill checks, I probably mm -hmm. would Yeah. Um, oh, wait, um, wait, um, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, the proficiency is doubled every time I use tools as an artifice, isn't it? Uh, what was that? Um, as an artificer, my proficiency is doubled every time I use tools and uh, make a, che a tool check, isn't it? Uh, that is with the, um, that is with the, uh, the, the UA artificer, the new does not get that until the 6th level. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. It is up to you which one you... However, I do recommend using the new actual one from the Abaddon book. It's yeah, I'm, I'm using that one. Yeah, um, it is much better. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pay... just gonna pay full price for the donkey and the cart. Yep, uh, so uh, the wagon shop is called Thelon. It's uh, run by a... Uh, run by the man Thelon and... Uh, Force Thelon. He is a burly, uh, taller but thinner uh, human male, and uh, they're, uh, he's a very respectable man. He's uh, known as a very respectable man of uh, business around. Um, there are two uh, cart and wagon shops. His is known as the nicer and more official one than the other, uh, Wayland's Wagon Works. But uh, a cart and a mule cost 23 gold pieces. I'm just gonna pay full price, so... Okay. Alright. Anything else? Nope, nothing else. We head back. We head back to the swinging sword. Yep. In the cart. Yeah. I'm in the cart. Tim Kane is loving being in the cart. He's just... He's digging it. But then he realizes that the donkey can't really... So then he gets out of the cart. <laughs> it's it's like uh, you know, like in a cartoon, so it's sort of like the, the horse or like the donkey is like the bay, like oh, and just like yeah, just like, a just like he and it's like oh, I'm I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a like get up and like the, you can see the weight like lift off of the wagon, <laughs> the donkey's in the middle of the air, one sprint, one stink gun. Get some of the wagons in the car. And now it's like racing time. Yeah. Um, Alright, um. 57. Yeah, I'm kinda. Also, I'm only going to have silver. Only going to have silver pieces. And I'm going to polish them all, all night. Okay, so, uh, you guys are eventually heading to bed. Yeah. I'm just. Came just ask Kayla if there's anything you need help with. Uh, she asked to, you know, help around with some cleaning, uh, some basic bartending stuff. You and her just do that for most of the night. Yeah. Uh. Anything else at all? I don't think so. I guess everyone just goes to sleep after some time. We right. had a long day. I don't think we're partying tonight. Yeah. All right. So you guys uh, go to sleep eventually. The, uh, the calm, quiet night with the overcast skies. You can go to sleep for uh, the night. It's peaceful. 
Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys regain all your, uh, uh, your, uh, spell slots, HP, all that, superiority, dice, uh, rages, yada yada yada. Let's even use a single oh, what spell a circle slot. Did you I took a circle of the moon. Yeah. Although I've never, I haven't wild shaped yet. Oh, circle of the moon is really, really powerful. I haven't wild shape yet, so, you know. You gotta save it for, for a moment, and suddenly it's just like, Oh no! And then you're just like, Now I'm a bear! Fuck off! <laughs> oh, now I'm a badger! Oh, <laughs> I've yeah, turned you a uh... but then you could turn into a honey badger and fuck someone up. Mm -hmm. oh, I just wanna <laughs> turn into an anteater, dude. Like... <laughs> <laughs> they're, obvious, they're like, honestly, the coolest fucking creatures in the world. I like their noses. Mm. Alright, back to D&D. Alright, so, um, you guys are not woken up to anything by anything natural. You guys, um, a lot of you wake up when you hear a loud, like a crash from outside. Kane just grabs the deer's saw he has and he just rushes towards outside. Yeah, so oh no, it's wizard guy, he did not become a farmer! Tin <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, doesn't like, sleep in a bed, so uh, he just right. kinda, like, finds a corner of a room and like he just like kind of goes into like, stasis mode. I was so... sleeping on top of my silver. <laughs> <laughs> Go the <Zardragon> Dragon King! <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are all awoken up very, very early in the oh, very, very early, very early in the morning when up. Uh, yes, I mean, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to. Gosh, I wish I had a book. I'm sorry. It's it's not it's if not you your guys' fault. Closer, it's fine. If you live closer to me, I would just tell you to swim by and get a book. I just do not have the money for this. Um, you can use the search function. You can search. Control F, I think. Alright! Uh-huh. <laughs> no one's using, that, using the map. Alright, so, um... The ordinary morning in Red Lark is broken by a tremor that almost that wakes all of you, and, uh... It go, uh rushing, uh... Can you say you're rushing downstairs? Yeah. Alright, um... I think it's going to and uh, you can, uh, you say, you see Kayla's already just walking out the door. No! No! And get out of there! Get back! Get behind me! King just shouts. <laughs> I try to grab her, her just get her behind me. Saw it in front hey. of me. Hey! What's that? Uh, there could be something out there. Yeah, that's why I'm going outside and you're going to the back room to safety. No arguing! <sighs> Fine. Fine. I won't help. You need to do something we can help with. I don't want it to get hurt. We don't know if there's a friendly. Mm -hmm. Kane just slams open the door and says, Who the fuck made that noise? Come get some. <laughs> Alright. Uh, are, are any of you guys going out as well? Oh yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm with them. I'm uh, uh, they're picking through the window on my room. Uh, Torn's gonna sleep in. It's been a long, it was a long day. He, he's a little tired. You cannot wake up the torn with Right, he's sleeping. It's, it's not that you can't, it's you don't want to wake up. <laughs> you do not want to wake up this minute, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stay slumbering. Just had to, uh... Just had to post that. <laughs> <laughs> post what? <laughs> 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 uh, just, and that's it. That's he's just there. Post that. Well, nothing. Wake me up when it's time to depart. Uh, all right. So as you two are uh, running downstairs, give me one moment. Wait. 
I'm still picking through it for the window though. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, you're picking through the window. Um, you can see what looks like, um, maybe a, about a hundred feet away from the tavern, a large sinkhole has opened up in like the middle of the town, and uh, a, a lot of the people in town are surrounding it. Um, the, uh, a lot of people are just making commotions, and you can hear this as Kane, as you Shenza, as you follow him, uh, Shen Pan. You can just hear uh, people shouting, A rope! A rope! Someone get a ladder for the God's sake! I, um... <clears throat> I reach into my bag. I have, like, 50 foot of rope, right? I, I have a pack. As soon as, as I see that from the window, I'm going to put all my silver back in my backpack and jump through the window. You just open up the, uh, you just open up the window, just like jump out of it. Yeah. Alright, I'm. Are you gonna shout that you're jumping out the window, or are you just doing no, it? No, I'm just doing it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm hope I see you. In the brevity, I would say that you're able to like roll. Hey. So, um, as you get closer to them, you can just see this, like, mass of people just, like, swarming over the, uh, swarming around this large sinkhole, like, at, at least, like, d uh, 10 feet long and 20 feet wide. Everyone stay back from the hole! <laughs> Stand back, everyone! It could expand! Get the fuck out of there, mates! I'm going to plant two pythons in the in rock if I if I see it, something that looks stable, because I have a dungeon in spike, and I'm going to throw a nine fifty feet of hemp and rope. Alright, uh the only thing you're able to uh, stick your head into is like the uh, it's like the dirt. Um yeah. as you're uh, is, is it a tree? Is it a tree? Uh there aren't any trees nearby. This is the uh this is like the like a, a road in the middle of the town. Okay, I, I then I'm stand going to leave on top of the I stand on top of the pipe in the, uh, in, in the road. I put my foot on top of it to so give it some support. Okay. Yeah, how far away I... from how far away from the hole are you putting it? Just asking. Um, ten feet away. All right. Um, yeah, you're able to take it from ten feet away, just like carry the foot. And uh, just to make sure. Yeah, as you see, uh, as you see this is, as you're doing this, uh, a lot of people are just like, Oh, thank the god, someone came, like, uh, he's sort of backing off in, uh, in a measure of relief. Um... Kane as tries you, uh, to... You... Sorry. Go ahead. Kane tries to get the attention of one of the people, like, what the fuck is going on? What just happened? Who's in danger? Who's hurt? Uh, you managed to, uh, get a, uh, an older man that's, uh, a human man. I'm not sure what happened! I would... So you know, just... cutting out there a little bit of, yeah. All right, shit, give me some. All right, this should be better. Um, I'll just start from the beginning. You, uh, you managed to pull aside an older man, and he uh, just like starts nervously going on. I, I don't know. There was a sinkhole that just fell out in the middle of the street, and there were some kids on a cart that just fell in. Kane just doesn't think. He just jumps down the down the hole. He wants to save those children. Please it wasn't me. my card though, no? It wasn't my card. Right? <laughs> yeah, you just... And you all just see uh, Kane just like nod and just run and just... Whoop, just jump down into the hole. Um, and you fall for like a good 30 feet down. And, seeing uh, this, seeing this, I'm going to grab the rope and jump and try, and jump and try to grab Kane. Oh boy, that's gonna be hard. Making it... Make me a dexterity check to see if you can react and get to him uh, quickly enough. Okay, yes, I do. See, 17 plus 3, I think it is. Okay, yeah. Um, now yeah, I'm plus 3. Going, uh, how much, uh, about how much does Kane weigh? He will weigh about. The yeah, area he's a little bit muscular. About 90 to 100 pounds. Standard human. Well, right. well how tall are you? Uh, I will be. I, give me a second. Let me just look at your. He will be around 190 uh, meters. So that's about like 60. 
Yeah. So we'll, yeah. Give, let's give you like I don't know. Do you do you want to say you're like you're kind of built? Yeah, I'm, I'm well built. I'm not overly muscular, but I'm well told muscular. Guns. So like, guns. 100 pounds is 40 kilograms. Oh. All right, I got He's 45 to kilograms. Right. He's going to be yeah. around about 90 kilos. Maybe okay, 100. so that's, uh, that's about two, 200, 200 pounds. Yeah, that's about 200 pounds. Uh, to hold on to him and try to catch him, I'm gonna need you to make a uh, a athletic check like with, with disadvantage. Yes, biggest. I come on. Oh, what? Fuck! Fuck. Um, while yeah. this is happening, Torch is gonna Fuck. just gonna chase sleeping positions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, he gets so the pillow. Don't get comfy in the meantime. <laughs> Um, uh, hang on. Well, okay. My strength is plus zero, so I got a four. Yeah, you, uh, you're, you, like, try to, uh, 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 just, like, uh, try to grab his hand, and then, like, he more slips out of your reach, and, uh, can you just fall down? She falls with my hand! <laughs> you, uh, you're able to keep yourself, uh, fastened to the rope, but you just watch, uh, Kane just, ah, uh, just fall down about 30 feet. Um, Kane, you, uh, you land on, uh, like on your feet and uh, you actually land on this like a pile of almost soft earth so that you really don't take any impact from the fall at all um down at the bottom of the uh sinkhole you can see this uh this like um this uh the pile of the loose earth and you can see a uh, a cart broken in multiple different pieces and you can hear uh the four distinct like cries of help from children some of them crying in uh in pain Kane will rush towards the uh, noises and I'm coming, help is on the way, don't worry. Keep shouting so I can find you. Um, uh, they just cry out louder. Come back, am I? Tim Kane glitches out a little bit and then like shouts almost kind of like a megaphone, like, Torn, we need your help! As I try to pick him up from his <laughs> Roll it to yeah. the nation. Uh, that's up to you with you, what you want to do with him. I'm not trying to scare him. I, I'm just, I'm just trying to wake him up so he'll come help. Um, Owen, how high am I from the bottom of the pit? Uh, I'd say, um, I mean, you're, uh, did you tie the rope to yourself or, uh, just I was grabbing it. I was just holding to it. Okay, uh, you can have, you could have slid down, uh, however far you wanted to. I have that vision. Can I see the child? Yes, you can, uh, you can clearly see down below because you do have dark vision. Um, I did not get to put my goggles, to get my goggles first, first, so I'm gonna have this advantage on the right. Um, um, what can I see? Uh, what you can see is, uh, you can see, uh, the car and some figures of children, uh, lying there. Um, we get back to you, uh, Kane, as far as, uh, as far as, like, getting them, you were able to, uh, find some, uh, some of them are, uh, like, underneath the car, like, pinned, but, uh, a bit bruised and battered, but you're able to uh, scoop up all the children relatively easily, and they are all, uh, for the most part, entirely unharmed. Is there anything up to this place? Can I see um, something that shouldn't be in a sinkhole? That shouldn't look like it's part from it, a sinkhole? It looks like, honestly, it looks almost like it's just this flat area, this like, uh, not carved out, but like, Spacious cavern with a, a dirt uh, dirt floor. Oh, sorry, can we back up a bit? To, uh, what, are the I'm children going to uh, actually. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Are the children pinned on the the cart? Uh, the three of them are not. However, there is one that is like sort of pinned under one of the uh, one under one of the wheels of the cart. Uh, right. It will take a athletic check for you to. Uh, with the card up. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do it eventually. Yep. Alright, so uh, make an athletic check. I'm going to go on as little as I can try to help him. So, yeah, hey, no, I mean, you get advantage. While Kane does his just hard. Hang on, I got you. Don't cry. Alright, so you're down in the hole as well, Devlo? What? You're down Come in again? the hole as well? Yes, I jumped, tra uh, right. I jumped to after Kane trying to catch him, and then I slid down. Okay. Uh, Alright, that's a 15 a plus 6, that's uh, 21. Oh yeah, 21, you're able to just 
<gasps> just take uh, with both of your hands and just lift the cart out to where Devlo can uh, Devlo can safely uh, grab the child and pull them out. Get the child, Devlo. Hurry, hurry. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Right, uh, I, will, I will reveal the area that you guys can see. You guys are down about here, and this right here is the uh, is the broken part. Are you still up on the uh, are you still up on the surface, uh, Tin Can? Um, yeah, I was about to say. Um, as soon as I realize that they're kind of safe down there, I uh, I'm gonna try to like look over the hole to see if I can like help the kids. I'm up the rope. Yeah, um, they're, uh, they're slowly climbing up the rope and you're able to, as they come towards the top, you're able to, um, you're able to, uh, take them and, uh, take them and, uh, just move them up out of the hole and safely onto the surface, to where they're just, like, running away to their parents and all of that. <laughs> um, as, uh, as you finish getting the last one up, you just hear, uh, you hear this, like, piercing shout from the back, uh, Tinkin, and you guys just both these are close enough to just hear, No, 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 no! Everyone, get back right now! This is none of anyone's concern! Um, and you can see a, uh, a taller man with black hair and, uh, nicer-looking, almost noble clothes with, uh, with a woman behind him with red hair and another, uh, older-looking man with, uh, an eye patch and, uh, tied back blonde hair. This is the matter of the elders of the town. Nobody here needs to get involved in any of this. Everybody go back to your homes, to your businesses, whatever you were doing. Do not go into that hole. From the bottom of the hole, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I am an elder, shut up! <laughs> oh god, god. I... He just like... He I, turn, just, like... I turn to the elder and I say, What is the meaning of this? Explain yourselves now. This is the... It's a matter of the of the elders of the town. We don't need anybody else going in there. We will take care of everything, make sure that the children are okay, but do not go down in there. This is not a matter to be messed with by by out-of-towns like you. I, I turn uh, I turn my head back to the, towards the tavern, and I, uh, <laughs> I yell again. I'm like, Torn, it's time for breakfast! I'm hoping that will rouse him from his slumber. <laughs> <laughs> Torn's ears are going to perk up a little as he sits up in his bed and like he's going to yawn a little. He's going to scratch his chest. He's going to stand up and go downstairs to get a drink. <laughs> then nobody is in the bar except for yeah. Kaylasa. Uh, yeah. I would be like, it was a bit empty today, huh? Well, I mean, there's you know kind of something going on outside. Yeah, 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 social media, yeah, yeah, give me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's just like, I, I, alright, fine. And just get to her hole and some breakfast. Um, I, I, walk, I walk inside to the tavern as he been eating his, his breakfast, I guess, and I, I go, we, we, Come with me, and I just kind of like try to like grab him and leave him outside as he's drinking. But, but, but my bread. Um, you just like pull away from your plate. We'll leave bread later. Just and, and as we're walking back towards the sinkhole, and I'm just like ignoring the elder guy, and I'm just like. Yeah, as he just like as he just walked over here. Hey, wait! Do not go down there, and you just come. Can I throw a rock? Yeah, I, I, I want to throw a rock to the elder. And I look down there and I go, um. Kane, Master Kane, was it safe to jump down there? Kane just shouts back all along. Yeah, the soft ground earth shouldn't be too difficult. Just mind Excellent. the landing. And I, I, I grabbed I, before he finishes saying mind the landing. I, I grab Torn's arm and I leap off into the sinkhole with him. Uh, can I, can I quickly wild shape into a cat? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> that is awesome! Nice! Yeah! You just like, you just uh, grab him by the arm and all of a sudden you just like, you hear this as he just shrinks down and you just hear meow! And you just jump down into the hole and all you guys here, uh, uh, Devlo and Kane, you just see this like great shout just and just <laughs> As like he just lands down, and you can see this, uh, like the the loose earth just goes like 
like spraying everywhere from the impact. <laughs> I figured so. Nice landing! <laughs> nice landing! <laughs> I was trying my superhero landing. <laughs> superhero <laughs> landing! <laughs> Two out of five. <laughs> ten out of ten! <laughs> I'm gonna unmorph and then uh, lean over on uh, and put my hands on my knees and start puking. <laughs> um, can I make a perception check? I want to see know what's around me. I, I have dark vision. I should be. Yeah. I shouldn't I have any problem. Yep. I will feel the area. So was that? Is is this bit right here? Oh, I'm grabbing that. I don't know. I'm doing something. Okay. Yep. Is, is this bit here? Is that a door or where are you going? Yeah, I will. Uh, just give me just a second to okay, uh, describe everything. Yep. Um, so there is a dark chamber about 30 feet below the level of the ground. It looks larger than the hole and extends into darkness on all sides. A heap of loose earth is piled in the middle. The children who first fell were sitting on the middle of the earth, but you've helped them all up. Um, the wide, irregularly shaped cavern has a floor of smooth bedrock. Damp dirt and stone with uh, tree roots protruding here and there make up the walls. A five-foot-wide tunnel leads off to the north, and a stone slab, a door with a rusty pull ring, stands to the east. By the stone door, a couple of well-used cloaks and a water skin are on the floor. As you see this, um, you uh, you can see the uh, you can see the man that was uh, above the elder just uh, hit, peek his head over to uh, over the hole and say, I, "By the order of the town's government, get out of there right now, or we will have to arrest you." I'm going to throw a rock. Kane just walks off the ground and just shout, I'd like to see you try trying to intimidate him to back to I really want on. to throw a rock. That's all that you Kane tries to intimidate him <laughs> to make him uh, back make, off. Make a uh, make an intimidation check. Eighteen plus my charisma. Oh, yeah. Uh plus two that's that's twenty. Oh yeah, you just like bark up at him and he just like, Aye. Shot it! Ah. Secure! Like... Sorry. Okay, go ahead. I just shot into him. Shot it and secure the perimeter. Make sure no one else gets out here and no one gets up unless it's us. Got it! Ah. He just like groans loudly and just storms off. Good thing and, I uh, planted that python. We can get out. Shot. You should hear him shout from above. Nobody else go down there, or else you will all know what happens. And you can uh, hear footsteps as some of the people uh, uh, quickly scurry off from the hole. And you guys are left here in the bottom. And um, I want to investigate those cloaks and the door. I like to assist them. Yep. Give me one second. By the way, any any all the time we're not adventuring, we're just in the tavern. I'm okay. I'm working in the in the kitchen without say without saying anything to anyone. <laughs> I mean I just uh, I just walk in and start um, and start working working whatever. We can we can do this thing, this is uh, uh, out of character again. But uh Emerald City has this thing where uh they have uh, the HQ R we just like RP while we're in the tavern. Yeah, um, if you guys want me to put a text RP channel for you guys to use, then I will gladly do that. I mean, it's just something we can do. No, that's yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah, no, something to shoot the shit and, uh, with you guys to get more in character. Yeah, no, yeah, I like that. It's a good, it's a good way for our characters kind of to develop out of game and to, like, you build relationships and stuff. And it's interesting, I like that. Yep, I will do that. I'll make that channel after the session. So... You said you're going up to the cloaks. Yes, I want to investigate the cloaks, and then after that, I want to investigate the cart to see if anything, anything worth or any anything worth taking or salva or salva. <laughs> I like to assist uh, them. Yeah, uh, going up to the cart first. The cart is completely and utterly destroyed. It fell thirty feet. It is busted beyond repair. The wheels and axles are all broken. The the boards are shattered. It is a mess. 
Thankfully, there was nothing on her. Okay. I'm going to come back later and take the cart to make a little roof for our cart. Ah. Alright. Uh, now, as far as the cloaks, um, they are quite plain. They're just black cloaks that seem as though they would fit around one's entire body. Mm, there's nothing in those pockets? Mm -mm. Nope. The, the door, then. Is there anything in the shop? Uh, what's that? Um, is there anything particular about this store? Is there anything different to Kela's store, let's say? Um, there is, uh, it's like just a, uh, a rusty pull ring on the door. It is, uh, from your inspection, it doesn't seem to be locked. Um, I'm going to check for traps, and, it, and after that I'm going to ritual cast Detect Magic. Alright. Um, um, actually, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to do that, um, because I can do that one today, I think? Yeah, but I can ritual cast and do it every time I want. Yeah, no. Right, but that, it takes ten minutes for you. Uh, it's up to you guys. Yeah, it's instant. I can just feel like sure. I can, you can do it like if you want. Ten minutes. And just then I'm going to check water. for traps. I'm only che gonna check for traps. Yep. Then make me an investigation check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh yeah, sixteen plus things. Yeah. Uh, there are no traps on this. You are 100% positive of that. Then I'm going to walk to um, think and, pre and randomly press a, bot a button hoping that will be detect magic. <laughs> um, <laughs> Any button. <laughs> I, 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 I'm doing the same as the hoping way. Alright, yeah, so what happens when I detect magic is if there is any magic, let's see, uh, lingering magic. Once we go on rest. Oh wait, it's my consti constitution mod modifier. Using constitution for spellcasting, okay. Uh, I guess I got a chance to detect magic. That's so bizarre and so variant. Yeah. Cool, I crit failed casting detect magic, so... Well, you don't, you don't roll anything casting detect magic. It's just a, uh, it's just a static. Oh, that's... Oh, so, so the... Why does it say using con for spellcasting? Um, it's like, yeah, you know, for, it affects for DC and stuff like that, um, oh, okay, okay, alright, right. Yeah. So your spell save DC would be, I think, 13. Yes. If something needs to save against it. I don't think anything needs, like, I don't think there's a save or anything involved for tech magic. I have no clue. Alright, I'm I gonna have... pull, I'm gonna pull open, or try to pull open. Yeah, alright. Uh, pull over the door is easy enough. It the uh, the rusty uh, you know just as it uh, as the uh, the stone door opens. Um, I turn to Kane and I say, Kane, um, would would you mind pulling out that shiny new longsword you have? Not a problem, my friend. And he just pulls out his longsword, trying to illuminate the area a little bit better. Before we walk in, I want to make a. Um... So, some check to see if there's any, any, any. I can see any metal in the walls. Um, any ore. Then um, pick it up, take it out later with a python and a hammer. Uh, Which you is... don't see anything like that oh. in the walls. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, uh, if there's sorry. nothing like that, then I'm just going to going to climb on. On friend's shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, 30 feet beyond the stone door, the tunnel levels out. Two stone reliefs of stern dwarves and chainmail and carrying battle axes face each other across the tunnels. The carvings stand out from the passage walls, and they have gaps around them, so they could be doors. The passage continues past them. So there are, uh, these right here are dwarven statues that seem to be with these small gaps right here. Okay. I'm going to slap friend's head and, and ask, uh, Is there magic there? Kane just... I, um, I, I'll just ask, am I, am I glowing any specific color? For the uh, next 10 nope. minutes, I'll glow if I detect it. Uh, I believe the length of detect magic is an hour. It's... I, I was reading somewhere that it's like... 
I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong. Mm, detect magic. Uh, Concentration, actually, 10 minutes. Oh, it's 10 minutes then. Okay. My bad. It, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I that's what, So it is detect yep. magic. Yeah, so, um... Man. Yeah, like, I'll do blow a color magic. depending on what school the bad thing is, but yeah, that's... Yeah. So, is there magic? No, there's... I don't... I don't believe that there's any magic. Um, it looks like we can continue on down, I guess, one of these paths? Okay. And... Where are you? I glitch out a little bit and I say, Dealer's choice! Kane <laughs> points his sword towards the what would be uh, what I would on this map, the eastern uh, pathway. So let's go that way. way. Yes. Alrighty. So, give me one second. Uh, Tori's gonna wipe his mouth real quick. <laughs> I, 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 I pat you on the back and say, Are you okay, my friend? I know I kind of roused you from the bottom a little quickly. As you can see, we had an emergency. Uh, I was like, I was I'm okay. I saw right. you turn into a cat there. That was that was very impressive. Uh, Wait. Yeah. Kate just stopped what he's doing, just turned around. What? That was you? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna uh, wild ship into a. I'm gonna wild ship into a turtle. Just a bunch of useless animals. Using little really nearly. Well, you can't really turn into anything cool yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can turn into something that's CR1, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you can be like a, a wolf as a good standby. A bear. But, like, a, oh, you, a bear is a CR1. brown bear. Yeah, oh, you just can shit. shift into something CR1. It's oh, that's powerful. Right, moon. That's right. Yeah, save your wild shape, bud. I have. I Is thought it? it was. I thought I had multiple. You have two. Oh, well, I don't want. I don't want a wild shape yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you. Yeah, keep your last one. Yeah. Um, you should. You should just maintain your cat myth just because you're a cat for now. You just I'll like, do that. I'll do that. All right. So. You guys are going to the east? Yeah. Yep. Through the door. Yeah. Alright. Do cats so. have dark vision? Yeah. Let's go! Yeah, so now you have dark vision while you're a cat. Alright, so then I can reveal more of this. So. Uh. Do, uh. Alright, so. You see a, uh, another simple, uh, another simple tunnel. Um, at the end of this passage is another stone door with an iron holding in it. It stands slightly ajar with darkness beyond. About five feet up, the door has a two-inch wide, foot-long, horizontal slit. Can I fit in there? You um, are five feet. You are a medium creature. Oh, well, you, are you, uh... Make sure you guys draw yourselves on the map first. I think I'm and put, medium. And put you, yeah, you're yeah, medium. medium. And put yourselves, put yourselves where you guys are going. I'm on friend's shoulder, so um, shape. I'm just hoping Kane isn't uh, isn't in front. Oh, oh my God! Oh God! I didn't mean for this. Um, okay, comes. All right, oh. that's gonna be me, I guess. Oh. Um. Uh, I guess. Uh, that's... hold shift to draw to the grid. Oh, perfect. That's what I've been missing. How do I get rid of this ugly, these two squares? You, uh, you just click yeah, on it, and you... I got it. Backspace. Oh, the first, the first, the first icon, the one that's up, up top. Oh, I just want, there you go, thank you. Oh, no, not another one. Alright, get rid of that giant one. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to click. Alright, so, uh... I like a boomer right now, I don't know. <laughs> so the passage would be, uh, that you went to the east would be right to get started. I can't grab by... You have to um, zoom in. Yeah, the icon on top, you can click select move. Oh, there it is. Click and drag. I, I had that. Something's wrong with my... 
Yeah, no, it's the same for me. I had to zoom yeah, in it's, a little it's, closer. It's it. You just, just highlight it and it should uh, show up. Alright, yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so you guys are continuing to walk down. Yeah. So it seems. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Um. As you, uh. As you guys get to, uh. Moving forward, nothing really, uh. Seems to happen all too much. You mentioned those dwarves have something, right? Hmm? The dwarf statues. Oh, what about didn't, them? Didn't you mention they have something? Armor, maybe? Weapons? I can't um, they don't point. have any armor on them, they're just... They're statues. Okay. I thought you said they had something. Okay, uh, well, mind. they're like adorned with, like, you know, uh, battle axes and helmets and stuff I'm like that. I'm taking them! Other stone part of the, you know, yeah, part of the statue. They're, they're... I'm breaking them! <laughs> oh my god. No, it's all just a stone weapon. <laughs> if you really want to, make a... No, a... I, 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 I won't do anything. I was hoping they were, they were real. Yeah, they're not real they're weapons, unfortunately. Yeah, 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 that's okay. I'm a... Wait, what's this, uh... What's the floor? Is it just stone? The floor is stone, and as you guys get to where you are about right there, um, all of a sudden, you can hear right behind you this, <laughs> like, almost like the lowering of a chain, just this <laughs> dropping of what looks like a metal cage right behind you. And then, um, let's see, uh, Devlo, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Well, oh, good god. Um, I'm proficient in dex, I think. Do dex I save. also have nope. to make a dex save? Uh, 15. Nope. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, sorry, no, it wouldn't be you. It would be, uh, would be sorry. It would be you. Uh, you need and to make I a dex save. I can't see this. This Whatever's happening is just happening, correct? Um, yes. Um, Kane. Okay. Kane. Didn't you unsheath your weapon, uh, Kane? That is a oh, my weapon's on sheath. Two, a 16. Then a he 16. can't see. You see, just at the last moment, you look up and you see what looks like this big iron cage being dropped on you, and you, you're able to just back away for it, that's like just right in the nick of time. And you just see the uh, the gate just like <sighs> slam off on top of like right like an inch away from your toe. We should be more careful as we continue. Agree, says Kate. So now there's a cage in our way? I'm a, I'm a, a cage in your way. I'm a can meow I, in agreement. <laughs> can I try to lift the cage back up? Cage will assist. A, yep, make me an athletics check with advantage. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to pull on, to pull the cage <laughs> to watch me. Oh well. That is an 18. Oh yeah, 18 years wow. old. <laughs> just like push it back up and it just like starts going back up this chain. Alright, move along everyone. Kane just takes front and make sure there's nothing in front of them. Alright, so you're taking up the front? Yeah. Um are you holding your Yes, I am holding my sword? long sword that is blue. Okay, I just wanted to I just wanted to know because everyone else can see them, and I can see them! <laughs> Alright, a moment. Okay, so, going into this chamber right here, you see uh, a multitude of things. Um, a moment. Uh, this big square chamber has been hewn out of rock. In the center of the chamber's west wall is a stone door that has a narrow uh, viewing slit. That's the one that you came out of. Besides the doors, a set of iron bars bolted into the wall with about three feet above the floor. Ten oil chains are secured to the bars, leading up to a hole bored in the ceiling. Another solid stone door is in the middle of the east wall. An eight-foot-tall rectangular stone stands in the room's center. The stone has an inscription on it that's hard to read from a distance, and at the foot of the standing stone, a small human is pinned face down by rocks placed atop his arms, legs, and back. His barefoot wears ragged clothes. 
it's standing back there, like staggered, is a uh, what looks like a, a half orc man with uh, these, these big burly muscles and uh, this club in his hand. Hey, wait, you're not believers. You're not supposed to be here. Time starts charging. I believe we should be here. Yeah, roll initiative then. Wait, instead of rolling, can I uh, sneak around and uh, try getting on top of the orc? I have a plan. Um, I'm still going to need to roll initiative. Sounds good, oh, I'll roll it. But you're still a cat, that is actually pretty good. Um, I went past Owen. How, the, how was that initiative thing in AD&D? Uh, everybody rolls, every, um, and uh, the party oh, with yeah, the highest the way, roll, uh, and then the, the enemy takes. Yeah, the way we did it in AD&D is that... Nice, like, cool. Uh, one person would, uh, one person for the players would roll, and I would roll. If you have higher, the entire team goes first, and then the rest of the, uh, other team goes after that. Then rinse and repeat. I think yeah, that's um, a little bit too chaotic for 5th edition. Yeah, oh. it is. Um, oh, okay. Just to, on a side note, oh, if you ever run a game with, uh, 1st edition, I'd be down for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, the AD and D is proving to be a lot for me. Um, so... It is a I, lot. It is a lot to, like... Run. I will yeah. say that. Yeah. It's so a lot my of focus, run. my focus is kind of <laughs> on that for right now. All right. Uh, sorry, this took a bit. Corn is first. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, maybe not. We're tied, but. Uh, Good, right, job, so... Good job, Corn. Good job. Well, you might go. Depending on your decks, you might go. Mm. Twenty-five to twenty. Um, uh, twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I turn and I go, after you, friend. Meow. <laughs> uh, are, you tr are you trying to sneak behind? Yeah, so I'm trying to sneak behind and get on top of them, because I have a master plan. Alright, uh, 20 to 15. 13. Oh, I'm, I'm, I was also 23. I just didn't. Yep. I, yeah, I got you down. Oh, okay. Uh, 20 to 15. 13. Alright, uh, then that's, uh, 15 to 10, uh, 10 to... Uh, you go 7. Okay. I hate getting a 20... ...on initiative. Why? Um... It's a waste of a good crit. <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, Torn, you are first. Alright, so I'm gonna sneak around, and then get on top of them. Alright, uh, first make me a stealth check. So and I... make sure you use your, the cat statistics for that. Um... Give me a second. Yeah, cats have to do, uh, dexterity. I got it. It's here. Yeah, I, that's that's the one I'm on as well. Oh, plus for stealth. Okay, so I rolled twenty, right? Yep, D twenty. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, yeah, you're able to see up fine, and he does not see you. Okay, so I'm up on top of him, right? Uh, yeah, you're able to just like claw your way up him. And then I'm gonna use my uh. My bonus action to un, un uh, animal shift. And you're just gonna like sit on him? <laughs> yeah, so uh, keep in mind, alright? Torn yeah. is no, Torn is no small man, he's a 512 pound minotaur. Wow. He's a beefy boy. He's a beefy man. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Roll an athletics check, and since you were hidden, do it with advantage. Right. Oh, thank no. God. Oh, that's not any better. <laughs> okay, wait. What's your athletics modifier? I think it's plus three. Yeah, it's plus three. Okay, six. Okay, so you got a three plus three is six. 
He got a 2 plus 3 with a 5. So Holy shit. Let's go! <laughs> you beat him. Um, and you are now sitting on top of him. He That's so lucky, bro. I'm sorry. He is prone, yeah. Is that your turn? Alright. Uh, I don't know who. It's, uh, yeah, that was. Hey, okay. do I have one more thing I can do? Uh, use your. I'm gonna say that jumping up onto him was your action and shifting. Okay. Is he considered a grapple gun? Yep. Okay. So, uh. It is, um. Tim Ken, it's your turn. Alright, um. Gonna I'm gonna. You are still on my shoulder, but I feel kind of safe. Come on. Then... I'm gonna, run in, I'm gonna run in hot and just try to attack this guy while he's prone. And try not to. Uh, you do so with advantage. 16 on the first one, and 11 on the second, so I'll go with that 16. I'm, I'm assuming with my lap, I think it's like a plus 6 to hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that hits. 22. <laughs> Um, yeah. I keep playing with my dice and then I put them all back together. So that's a 10 plus 4. Oh wait, oh wait, hang on. 11. 11 plus 4. So, so 15 points of damage. Yeah, you just like take your axe head and the part that uh, Torn isn't sitting on, you just like take and just... Whack it right into his back because you're like, oh, oh, oh. and you feel like that should have killed him, but you just feel like he is clinging on to his life, like it's nothing else. <laughs> I'm feeling this wasn't really that bad of a guy. Dude, I'm just uh, hanging on for dear life, I'm like, kill this dude, kill him. <laughs> I'm working on it. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Kane, it's your turn. I'm going over to him, and I take my long sword. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to aim for his throat and just let it strike it down. Yep, go ahead. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You do so with the damage, because he has a problem. This all been a advantage. Uh, if advantage, so you will pleasantly fire. That's 9, what do I lost that with that have a strength? Uh, your strength and your proficiency bonus. And I'll put that's, uh, five, six, that's a 12. A 12? Yeah. Um, you hit him with your strength modifier. Yeah, you're to hit. I have a straight modifier with plus four and my. So it's so plus you're... six to hit. So that is a fifteen. That hits. Okay. My mouth can be a wrong little time, so sorry. Yeah, that's all good. So that's my long sword. Let me just check the damage here. That's uh, what the eight plus four. That's ten. All right. You just take your sword and just. Just go over and just slice his head right off. Yeah. He is dead. <laughs> well, uh, as his body's falling, I'm gonna fall off him. I'm gonna land on my face. <laughs> I help. I help you. Are, are you okay, Master Torn? That was quite the maneuver. Uh, I'm still a little tired. <laughs> I, uh, I look over at the guy we just beheaded, and I, I kind of like search him a little bit to see if he got it. Uh, on his person, there is a, there is a, a mace. Um, 14 gold pieces. Uh, 18 silver pieces. And a light crossbow with 20 bolts. Toxic, just um, just keep a like keep a running tally. 
14 gold pieces, 18 single pieces, a light crossbow, and what? What, what, what was? 14 crossbow bolts in the maze. Oh. Um, he mentioned that we weren't believers and that we shouldn't be down here. I believe that might have something to do with why the elder didn't come down. I'm gonna read the, the thing. Yeah. The, uh, the inscription on the, uh, wait a second. Uh, It'd be cool, it'd be cool if, like, you have, like, some kind of, like, goggles that, like, you, like, plug into my head and, like, just see through my eyes when you're investigating something. <laughs> uh, okay, so, on the, uh, on the standard stone, the inscription reads in common, this please not the bell Please not the bell. And as you read this, you just hear a muffled, uh, hey? um, can I get some help here? Kane walks over and immediately releases him. Yeah, there's a uh, buried in the pile of stones right here. You uh, have to unearth them. You uh, manage to find inside there a kid, uh, a human boy, probably about 11, 12 years old, sandy blonde hair, and green eyes, and uh, skinnier build. Very uh, very like obviously yeah. like bruised from uh, you know being. Buried in there. Okay. Kane mm -hmm. picks him up and starts to talk to him who he is, what he's doing here, and how he ended up here. Okay. Yeah. I want to know how bad does he look? How uh, he doesn't look like he's missing any HP, he's just got some, you know, some bruises, he's cold. Okay. He made it out of there. Yeah, um, he, uh, um, he just like sort of like, uh, just a bit boozy, like he sort of staggers around a bit, rubs his head, says, oh, uh, what, what happened to Grund? Who is Grund? He, uh, he just like, he just like looks around, his, uh, his eyes wander over to the hat, who no longer has a head. And you just see this look of terror on his face. Just, ah, 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 as he just like staggers back. Oh, oh god! I'm, I'm going to stand in just, front of as him. As he just like just staggers back and you hear him just ah, and just start throwing up on the ground. Kane was up to a pen on the back. I'm sorry I had to see that, but toughen up, okay? <laughs> Breathe. Did, did you guys do that to him? Yes. Drink the ale. We did that to him. Do you know him? Was he your friend? Talk to me, boy. He wasn't, he wasn't my friend. He was the one who put me here. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk. I'm sorry. Um, Kane just rubbed we, his back we, slowly. We, we are breathe. not going to hurt you at all. Kane just tried to cover the grief, boy. It's okay. You're okay. My name is... My name is Boraylan. I'm... Uh, I, I'm the wagon with son. Um, they, they took me down here, the believers, they, they put me here as a punishment for being disobedient when they didn't deliver a, a message to my dad. Wait, 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 boy. Who are the believers? The believers? You, you don't, you don't know about the believers? No, we don't, but now we want to. Okay, well, the believers, they're, he sits, uh, he, like, sits down against the stone. The believers are all a secret group of people that make up some of the more important people in town, I think. Uh, some of them are the guards. Uh, I, I think the mayor, uh, his name is uh, Wayland, I think he is the, he, the head of them. They're led by this really, really scary man. I, I can't remember what his name is. Lauren? L L Larek. He's a really intimidating man. Um, they make up a lot of the people here. They say that they watch the stones that move in the other room because the stones tell them when there's danger when they move. I don't know much more than that about the actual believers, but 
I, I know who the leaders are. My my father is one, as well as some of the other important people. Who is your father? Again. Well, my, my father is Ilmeth Wailder. He's he's the uh, he's one of the wagon smiths in town. And we, we before we jump down there, or my friends did. We had an angry man shouting. I believe he was the town leader of some sort, I can't believe it. But mm -hmm. he asked us not to jump down here. Now, if you could tell me roughly how many people in this town are part of this, I believe it's roughly, I would talk to you, 10, 30, oh. oh, he scratches his head as he thinks. Maybe, uh, um, about half of the town. Are these people vengeful? They hurt anyone who got close. You can see he uh, he sort of shrinks uh, in the back when his posture sort of like uh, stiffens. Oh, I hurt anyone? Um, no, no, they they wouldn't do that. They they wouldn't hurt anyone. Then why they were you down you. here? Oh, I didn't deliver a message and they punished me for it. And that's normally what they do. I am going to kill every single one of them for this. Kane just grabbed up the boy, taking the shield up in his arms and said, Alright boys, I'm bringing him up, up for service. What? Alright. You were going to kill them? <sighs> no, no. I'm just angry that they sent the boy to be punished when he clearly didn't deserve it. Just talking out of anger, boy. Let it go. We're getting you back to the surface, okay? Uh, okay. I look to my friends and says, "All right, people, you investigate the area. I'm bringing up up service, so I know he's being safe and he's seen to some medical help, okay?" Right away. I walked away. Kane just walks back to the first area where we landed and tried to get him up there. All right. Um. As we do that, uh, I think this is where we are about this session. We have been going for quite a while. And uh, you guys have made more than considerable. So, uh, I'll call the session here and uh, I'll be next week. So, how'd you guys enjoy it? <laughs> I loved it. I assisted Great. in killing a man by sitting on him. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a very good time DMing this. This was. Very fun.